Okay. I'm not happy about it, but... Hi, friends. As I said, not happy about it, but... Um, I don't like keeping people waiting and stuff and things. And I can't read chat right now because I didn't bring all this shit in here because I'm not doing this long term, so bear with me. I ate before stream, but I still didn't have time for the things I needed to get done. My apologies. It has been a good day, but... You never enough time. I guess I will I'll be able to hear chat, but only if somebody uses bits in text to speech. Which is unlikely. So as I said, need us butterfingers. God damn it. Really just a couple things I have to do quickly. I was like really ahead of schedule today. I really was. And then, and then I don't know what happened. And if anybody is like, oh, it's echoing. Well, that's because we're in the bathroom and... Oh, Jesus. I'm just dropping everything. Dropping absolutely everything. But yeah, it's going to echo because I don't have the, the little microphone on yet. So, no complaining. Thanks. How about that goat game, though? That was so much fun. If we meet... If we meet either the sub goal or the bits goal, we can play it again. Okay. The last step. My nose is so fucking runny because I have allergies. I don't have any claritin. It's the dumbest. I'm fanning myself because I sprayed a setting spray and it helps it dry a bit quicker. In case anybody was like, what the fuck is she doing? That's what I'm doing. Okay. Let's do the last thing so we can get this fucking show on the road. <laughs> Fun fact, I've had this eyelash curler for like a million years. At least I got my eyeliner like really even today, that's something. At least I've got that going for me, which is nice.
Alright, good enough. Good enough. Alright, let's actually... I actually go and do stream. Wait, let me wash my hands. There's makeup on my hands. And I have mascara marks all over my eyelids, so sorry, one more second. Okay, for real now. Uh, this button. Okay, okay, cool. I'm here. High score, high score, hello. Hi. Sorry, I'm a fucking shit show. How embarrassing. Mm, let me let me get the other microphone thing and I'll just sit here and hook it up. Okay, I'll sit here and put this on, but we're not staying over here. It's also really dark over here because I'll move some things around. Hi, Christian. Welcome. Welcome, everyone. Cat food bowl right in front of me, so that's like all I can smell. It's gross. What are you up to? Oops, I didn't clear the chat. I'm gonna clear the chat. Wait, how do you do that? Oh, right here. Okay, I did it. I cleared chat. No, that. Refresh. There we go. I was testing some things um, <laughs> earlier. Because I moved things around, so I was testing the chat thing on the side and I didn't I didn't clear it hug tacky what are you all up to oh we have to go get a nos fuck hey hello your head dinner at your brother's house does your brother live in Valparaiso or where does he live? I have not tested the green screen. Um, we can take a look at the green screen when we go downstairs to get the NOS, because it's a situation. It is a whole entire situation. I had an idea about the microphone. I had an idea which was to like move it further down on my shirt, because then maybe it won't capture the sound every time I take a drink. But I don't know how to make that work while also hiding the cord. So, so I guess not. Oh, he lives in Valparais too. That's really nice. I'm glad you got to go spend some time with him. Um, the green. So the green screen arrived yesterday. I think I'm going to return it. I think I'm going to return it. Um, there we go. I think I'm gonna return it and either either get the different method method of it, different version of it. I will explain why. Um, the different version of it, or I might hold off entirely because I my brain I did a dumb I got ahead of myself. I ordered the green screen, but I need lights to like light it so I can properly use it, and the lights are like ninety dollars. And those are like the cheapest ones because they're slim because I don't have a lot of room on this side. There's like really not enough room on this side. Um, 
so that means the green screen setup costs a little bit under $300. And I didn't make that much in the last couple months. So I might have to wait until um, if, I, if I get a payout this month or depending on how much that payout is, or if we randomly get a generous donation. That's where that's at. Uh, let me situate this once again. And we will go downstairs. This, uh, this. There you go. Why is it giving me the logo? I paid. I paid, damn it. Motherfuckers. I paid for the premium version. Oh well. Um, yeah, let's run and get some... Let's get some NOS. Okay. Yeah, they're focusing. Yeah. Pardon the mess, as usual. Uh, I'm gonna get some water falling down there. Let us go. All right, so coming down the stairs. So here's the green screen. This this is the green screen. Um, it arrived yesterday. It is giant. It's absolutely huge. I think these are like eight foot ceilings. Um, so it's like really really long. So, I might end up um, returning that or maybe exchanging it because the one I got, the one I got is the kind that can but when I thought about it more, when I thought about it more, I probably just want the one that's on a stand, right? So I can store it vertically in the corner when I'm not using it. And the collapsible one also has the advantage that I can move it. Like I can, if I wanted to make a video or something else, different part of the room, part of something, I could. I could move the pop up one. But the ceiling or wall mounted one, I cannot do that. Oh, jeez, this is not gonna. Sorry. One second. Oh, jeez, this is too large for the koozie. Oh, well. All right, let's go back. We've got NOS. I bought the big can. I had to go to the gas station to buy NOS today. Um, and I was like, fuck it, let's try one of these large cans. So that's just absolutely huge. Like comically large, isn't it? So yeah, um, I might, I don't know, should I make a donation goal for the lights? Oh, hefty boy. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hefty boy, indeed. Today is huge things day. A little bit. A little bit. I moved the DSLR back here, and now it's, like, in the Holy middle of my two, two cameras. So that's cool. What the fuck? Prof? Are you serious? <laughs> Are you fucking serious? God damn it. Thank you. That was severely unexpected. Way to make an entrance, sir. Damn. Thank you. I didn't even know you were here because I we were on field trip mode and I couldn't see the chat. Ugh. Thank you. That is extremely unexpected. Let me go take a look. No, not there. 
I was gonna show you all what which light they are in case you care I don't know if people care yes we will be doing uh, denim mending tonight we will in fact Oh, that's not that one. I think it's this one. Yes. It is... Oh, jeez. I have to fix that. I have to fix that. I don't know why it does this, but that's really annoying. Um... This one. These are the lights that I had my eye on. They have good ratings and they're very like slimline. So that's really nice. Cause I have I have box light, but they are they are box lights, they are big. So they wouldn't be able to work that way. Yes, now I will get them. Thank you for making that possible. Basil, here, finish your food. Oh my god. Wait, 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 you can buy these things? That's hilarious. That is amazing. Only square ones? Huh. I don't know which square ones you mean. But yeah, um, I will go ahead and grab these. Thank you. Um, so the plan tonight is to continue working on the denim, so let's do that. Let me order some lights while I'm thinking about it. But yeah, the pop I think the pop-up one is actually a better fit because I can store it like back there in the corner when I'm not using it, and I could use it in other places if I want to, whereas the kind that mounts on the ceiling I would be forced to stay here constantly and that I, I'm sure that would become problematic probably fairly quickly. No protection plan. I live life on the edge. Uh, Smile.amazon.com Movable lights. Yeah, the lights are movable. That was always going to be the case. But a movable green screen is also better. Um, and actually, actually, I'm gonna go ahead and just order the green screen because I'm I know that I'm returning the other one, so I'm just gonna do that. It says it can be here Wednesday, June 1st, so there is that. Huh. There's some weird there's some weird bundle that's like get the green screen and the Elgato webcam, which is silly. Um yeah. I'm happy that I moved this camera back over here. It's just better over here. Although I am noticing now like how blurry, right? Because it doesn't have autofocus. That's the next thing after this. That, yeah, that's becoming more of a goal soon. Not yet. Soon. No. No protection plans. Thank you. That's going to make things a lot nicer. Um, sign in. I figure I'm just doing this now, getting it done. Um, okay, so. Let's do that, and I guess I will owe Dan a lot of money, because I'm going to use his Amazon card. Um, okay. 
38. Holy shit. And there is no gift voucher. Okay. 265.82. Yikes. <laughs> there. Okay. All right, we're good, friends. Sorry about that. Once again, because I will never stop apologizing. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Insanity. Utter insanity. Um, let's, let's do some denim, shall we? Um, this, okay, so yeah, here's the NOS. This is a very large can. It's, it's 24 ounces. How many, I don't know how many milliliters that is. How are the shoes from the other night? Shoes? Oh, my slippers. My slippers. Um, <laughs> funny you should ask. Uh, one sec, one sec. Let me set things down. And this. 720 mils. Okay, that's that sounds right oh geez what the hell God. microphone gets caught on the chair and everything goes crazy okay um slippers let's see yeah i mean um i don't know how well this is going to show up but like, I can tell there are some faint, there is some faint, faint staining. Is this camera, like, is this good, bad? Please give thoughts. I just did it today because I, uh, I really was not happy about the low light situation with the other camera at the other desk. Ooh. Do we have this this one? I don't like that this is in front of me. But you know, it is what it is. Hi Maisel. How do we open this? Is this okay, here we go. Tear here. So yeah, there's some faint staining on the top of the slippers, but I think it'll be okay. As long as, like, as long as I can't see it when I look down at my feet, then I think it's okay. Because if I look down and I see that, that's just going to make me really upset. Basil, come here. I'm trying to pet your head and you put your head down. Cat, give me a break. So, yeah. Oh, and this is a this is a twist cap, which is also I think that's also weird. It's just wide open. I don't I don't like that at all. That's so much harder for me to drink out of. Easier to spill. All around, I don't think that's better. And I bought two of these things. Damn it. Can you put them in the washer? Um, I'm not sure. They have like suede on them. Probably faux suede, but I don't want to chance it. Um, it's not green. What kind? What variety did you try? Did you try the sour one or the zero sugar? I think those are green. Went to the idea store today. And I picked up a couple more threads. Got uh, we got some blue, some dark blue, and some light blue that I hope will match a bit better. 
because I had like a navy blue, which was too dark. This one I think is going to look really nice. It's the normal NOS is green. I don't think it is. I could have sworn I poured some out once and it was like an orangey color. Now I want to try that, but I don't have, I don't have a clear container that is appropriate for food nearby. I do have a tiki glass, but I'd have to take out the crochet hook and then I'd have to go wash it. That sounds strange. I have no idea. All these years I thought it was orange. Okay, so here's where we are at. Uh, this way. This way? Yeah. Here's where we're at on the denim. Looking really nice. Yeah, that's looking really nice. Um, I was going to go diagonal next, but you know, I think I'm changing my mind. And... I'm going to do vertical next because when I look at these, when I look at the actual denim, I notice, I notice the diagonal grain more. So that's like the top layer of the denim is the diagonal. So I'm gonna, I'm going to put the horizontal underneath it. That turned out great. It did, it did work well. Your turn, my turn, hello. Nice to see you. Question, why is there an I with a slash through it next to your name? I'm reading, uh, I read chat off of the iPad when we're over here and I've just never seen that before. So I'm really curious what that means. Welcome. Watching without video. Oh, all right. Welcome. Welcome. I'm surprised we don't get more of that here since people are all like, we watch for your voice. Your turn, my turn. What are you up to? We are re-weaving some denim, basically. Um, okay. So why does it have a red? Oh, I have to select my stitch. That's right. That's right. 4, 12, 11. There we go. So we want basil, basil. Come on. I'm just gonna. Did not operate. Oh, right, right, right. I did that before. We usually have streams up while doing other tasks. I like doing that as well. It's a great way to like. I don't know, it's kind of like having the radio on. What the what? Okay. What is happening? What is it? Basil, no. Uh-uh, you gotta go. There is no place for you right now. See, you have no exit. Yeah, you gotta stay off the desk. Goodness. I was waiting for the voice comment. Well, we'll say it. <clears throat> and yet, and yet, anytime I do actually stream in the auditory ASMR section, nothing. I get nothing. So, clearly, it's not that great. It's only great if you want to fall the fuck asleep because... I don't know, maybe I need to practice, like, making my voice more, like, sing-songy or something. I don't know. Okay, what is the deal? Um, excuse? I'm glad that I... I'm glad I'm testing this first because it's supposed to be doing that automatic thing, which was really fucking cool. But it, like, isn't? It's just stitching a straight line. I don't understand. Okay. 
There it goes. There it goes. I guess I didn't have it. Wait, what? No? What the fuck is happening? I'm gonna turn it off and turn it back on. Cause, yeah. Uh... Okay, maybe this is too close down here. I don't know. But it's just doing straight lines. Your Bible checks your tribe instead. I've heard that, but I don't seek out, like, snoozy, boring, monotone stuff. Like, I don't. Like, I... No, I don't. I don't even, I don't even know if that's the type of stream I enjoy watching. Anyway. Anyway. So those icons are new. We got a mail notification weeks ago. Huh. I always see the little star sparkle things light up, but I just never bother to click on them. Four, nine, twelve, eleven. I want eleven. Fiona is snoring, per usual. Um, okay. Please do what you're supposed to do. I don't get it. Why is it not? It did this last. It did, it worked. It worked correctly last time. So like, what the fork is the problem? And it started like it went. It tacked and then it went over. What the fuck? Huh? I don't know. Cause I didn't do anything with it. Like, I touched nothing on this machine. Nothing. Basil did not touch the sewing machine, no. That's a nice, fun idea though. What the hell? So it won't undo that. What about this one? Will the one next to it go? Basil hasn't actually, she hasn't tried to jump up here since I haven't been up here. Um, oh yeah, yeah, is there even a spot for my water? My de this desk is a, a wreck, I tell you absolute just stuff everywhere. I had to like carve out a space for myself. Any thoughts about this camera angle? Good, bad, like this one. If I need to move it to the left or right or anything, please let me know. Let me check if, um, if I need to adjust something else, where'd it go? Mm -mm -mm. Let's do a search. Darning. Do not push in the front. The buttonhole lever is positioned behind the bracket on the foot. Maybe that's what it needed? I don't know. Actually, that might be what it needed. Oh god, what did I do? And we're back. Um, what, everybody, like, what are you all up to? What are you doing? How's your week? Do you have weekend plans? Things you're going to be doing? So on and so forth. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is also the other stitch, so I will go back and try the first one after this.
This is the one that makes like the full on grid. All right, let's try this one. Yep, that was the issue. That's so weird. I swear, on this sewing machine, it's always the simplest little thing. Wow. It wasn't, it was just going in a straight line because, I don't know if you can see it. Okay, so you can see this little thing, this tab that's coming down. Okay, so if you can see this tab here, let me, I can't get more light on it. Um, so this tab here, it comes down and we have this presser foot, the long white piece, right? There is a little tab on the front of the long presser foot and this pull down tab needs to be positioned behind it. And it was instead positioned next to it. And since it was next to it, it would only stitch a straight line and not do the darning like it was supposed to. Isn't that wild how it just like one tiny thing. Your sister's visiting tomorrow and she's bringing your pottery pieces. Yes. I bet you're really excited, aren't you? It's gonna be so good. like family weekend for you dinner with your brother tomorrow is she staying a bit or just stopping off and leaving oh dear i gotta fix the pin in this a little bit you're only a little bit excited I'd be pretty pumped if it were me. Okay, so this was horizontal. Uh, doing the vertical stitches is gonna be weird. I think it's gonna be really weird. Um, I think... I'm trying to decide how I want to go about doing that. Because I don't want to have like splotches of darker blue she's saying the night but at your brother's house oh does your apartment not really have space for guests because a lot of apartments don't uh, let's see let's see I kind of do want to do some single stitches on these, like going across, but you don't have a guest room set up. Does it, how many bedrooms does your apartment have? I hope that's, I hope that's what I want. And I don't want to use that color. So, restring it. I'm just using, oh, it's a three bedroom. Damn, that's a big place. You do have the space. Wow. Do you use one of the bedrooms? Well, you sleep in one. Do you use one of them as like a studio or something? What do you use the other bedroom for? That's not your room and not the guest room. Since I'm being nosy. Oops. Because this is nice. But I don't know. Okay, so which one was the light color? Oh dear. Oh dear. I had a really light blue I was using that looked great. And now I'm not sure where that um spool of thread is 
I don't think it's this. Is it? Actually, it might be. It might be. I think it is. Okay. So this is polyester. I wasn't sure if I was sewing with polyester or cotton thread. Um, so earlier when I went to buy some thread, I, I took the shorts with me to like color match, but I wasn't sure. And so there was some thread that actually looked very promising, but I did not buy it because it said it was polyester. Silly me. Hi, sneakers. Welcome. Nice to see you. What's going on? And per usual, if anybody's got a better stream title, please, please speak up. Ah. Get out of there. There we go. I thought I could thread the needle without taking the fabric out, but I could not. I could not. We are working on re reweaving some denim, fixing the shorts that we were working on before. And we're going on to the vertical stitches, which are a bit trickier because, well, pant legs don't want to go onto a sewing machine in that direction. Yeah. Tricky. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, let's try this and start right here. Yeah, I was making sure I had the right stitch because it would be my luck that I start it up and choose the wrong one that I can't really rip out. My goal is to cover up the patch square part first, because that's really the most important, I think. Yeah, that's it, okay. Um, if, if anyone cares, I did finally, we have, there are officially 1,400 followers and the last five came in while I was not streaming. In the last day or so. They came in while I was not streaming, which is super weird. Very cool, but super weird. And I think that's really interesting. And by interesting, I mean weird. I don't know what y'all want to talk about. I've been doing not much today. So, I don't have, like, set topics or anything. I have another Instagram reel that's doing really well. That's cool. Um, I changed up some camera things. We're getting a green screen for realsies with lighting. Um, thanks to College Prof. We were already going to get a green screen, but I wasn't sure about the lighting. Now we're getting lighting. So that's exciting. Something to look forward to. The goose one. Yeah, the goose one. Because at the last second, at the very last second, my brain had a light bulb. And I was like, wait, here's what we can title it. And I think, I was thinking about this more today. I think part of my issue with all of the stuff is that like... My creative juices have not been flowing for a long time. So like coming up with witty things is a lot harder for me than it used to be. Because I've been like cooped up for two years. Which is no fun.
I like the format of the stream clips for reels. Yeah. There, there's a few different places with the mouse clip in time, in time. I want to get all of them up. So eventually it will make its way. Um, yeah, so there's a few different websites that will turn your Twitch clips into that format. And I looked at a couple of them and I didn't like them. There's one that's owned by Streamlabs and I just like it appealed to me because they have a mobile app. So I was like, oh, I can do it for my phone. That'd be great. But I just really didn't like the interface. I didn't like I did not find it easy to use. Um, and then I tried Streamladder and I was like, oh, hell yes. Even their hmm? 300 real views followers had to have come from there. What? What are you talking about? Oh, I've also been posting when I, okay, when I make a TikTok from a stream clip, I've been posting them on Hover because Hover, Hover is weird, <laughs> but I was like, sure, whatever. And I know that two or three followers came from Hover. So that's something also is offline followers. Okay. Um, let me check some things. Um, high score, let me check something real quick. I'm curious what that looks like for other people who are not me. Like, what it looks like from the outside. What it looks like when other people view my page instead of me looking at it myself. That's what I'm trying to say. Where, okay, where are you seeing 300 real views? That's what I was wondering. Christian, thanks for the like. <laughs> They're light. Totally kidding. Uh, yeah. Anyway. No, the number is not two, not 300. It's 22,000. Unless you're on YouTube, in which case it's four. Um, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you unliked it, like the time you unfollowed me. What are some analytics you'd want to see um, in regards to what? Streaming or other things or what? Can you elaborate? Yeah, so it's shaping up to follow in the footsteps of the other one, the yarn video. So that's cool. I'm never sure if what I'm making is good or if anybody's going to even like it. So I'm always surprised. And by always, I mean I have been surprised recently. Um, I'm not sure. Twitch does give analytics and there's actually quite a bit of information that they provide. Um, a lot of streamers don't know how to interpret it though. I think a lot of streamers might even miss it altogether if they don't know about the stream dashboard. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, your turn. I'd have to think about that a bit. If it were was for like other social media, I'd love to know. I'd love to have like hashtag analytics. That would be great. Um, I don't know. What do you think? What do you think are 
important analytic. Yeah, I want to go over that and then the diagonals will be last. And I don't know, should the diagonals be done in a darker blue or should they also be this light color? Chat, do you have an opinion? Ow. It should be easy to mine for data, I bet. You're most interested in engagement. I am also very interested in engagement. Although I, I would like to know more about the meaning of that term within this context, you know? Average time watched by viewer. We do have that. We do get that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We do get that information. They give you all these stats and you can download them into an Excel spreadsheet, which I always forget to do. One day I will. One day I will. I think one day I will, once I know what the fuck to do with the information. Because I have the data, but I just don't know what to do with it. And somebody was like, make a, is it a pivot table? Is that what it is? And they were like, do that, and that sounds good. But I'm not familiar with pivot tables, except for the quick explanation I was given. So... I don't know. Yeah, you can watch, uh, not watch, you can see like average time watched per individual. I think, I think that's how they measure it by individual. I even get that, I get that um even for every stream because there's a stream summary and then there's an overall channel summary and sometimes it's really long like sometimes it's like four hours and i'm like god damn people thanks for hanging out and then sometimes it's like an hour and a half Uh, mm -hmm. Let's make this very long. Oh, wait, not so much. So much. Um, okay, where did that end? Here. Okay, so it can be, they can be longer. All right. Get started about here. Oh dear. Well, I had the foot caught on the hem of the shorts and it did not it did not do half of what it was supposed to my bad my bad um what the fuck okay that's gonna be a do-over i don't know um anything interesting going on in the world i'm there's too much shitty stuff so if you heard about anything cool or good I'd love to hear about that. Fluky! Ever? Like ever, ever? Oh, Fluky, oh my gosh, there's a clip that you need to see. Thank you for the resub. 16 months, damn. Damn, that's a while. Is the, is the dinosaur the poggers? 
Is that which one that is? Because I never know. Okay, hold up. I gotta get up because you have to see this. I still don't know how I feel about it, but this somebody made it. Somebody made it, and I immediately was like, oh shit, Fluky needs to see this. Clickbait, not like that. Ugh. I hope not. I hope not. All right, let me pull it up. Actually, over here, uh, this one, how to make a long, oh, I see, oh, uh, here it is, here it is, um, oh, I should have turned it up, there. Whiz, hey! So, somebody clipped this. Somebody clipped this. That's, that's enough of that. <laughs> Another cat. Yes, this is Fiona. Prin um, her full name is Princess Fiona Fat Pants the Great. First of her name. Defender of the realm. Play it louder, I'll make it my ringtone. You will not. You will not. I just, um, ASMR. The worst ASMR. Wiz, what's going on? It's nice to see you. Um, so someone who was new to the channel clipped it and they were like, oh man, that's epic. And I was like, oh God. <laughs> and then, like, earlier that night, there had been a conversation about, like, if there's a recurring thing in the channel, like, sometimes it's best to just, like, use that thing. And then I was like, oh god, is this the thing? What the fuck would we even use this for? Awful. Dude, no worries. You live your life. Live your best life. You don't owe us your presence. It's just nice when you get to pop in. A bit alert, easy. How many bits? How many bits should that be for because i'll do it new follower alert no way you pick no you came up with it give me a number um overlays things are good overall we are mending some shorts 100 bits. Okay, it's gonna go in the... There's a bunch of different ones for 100 bits, but... Okay. Um, this is gonna be tricky. Hmm. It will be the first... Why does it have to be... It would be the first... Um the first bits alert that's not a mushroom because they're all mushrooms right now nuts you're back hey eyebrow color it does match my hair it does because the only thing more fun than blue hair is blue eyebrows gulp is literal but welch is onomatopoeia it is it is onomatopoeia which is in itself a very fun word not so welcome in. What's going on? Um, hmm. <laughs> How will this work? I've changed some things around. So I'm not sure how this will work, but it's cool. It's cool. Anyway, I needed to tell you about that, Fluky. What's up with you? What have you been up to? I'm doing 
here. This is me. I, I don't like to answer that because I don't ever know if people are being serious. They genuinely are asking or if it's just a greeting. I never know. Um, I will make a note and I will do possibly a bit alert of that sound, perhaps. Squelch. Oh my god. Squelch. Thank you for that. <laughs> Thank you for the biddies. I will, okay. I will do it. I will do it now. I will just do it now so then it can be tested. Hold up, hold up. Download. Of the bits. This where? Okay, where the fuck did that go? Of the bits. Sometimes I swear I'm like a really old person. Basil, what? Oh, I already had it. Okay. What? No, come here. Oh, little kitty. Little kitty. What? Hmm. You're asking me right, but I, as I said, I never know if people are genuinely asking or just it's part of a greeting. So, anyway, um, let me let me make this happen. Variation. Squelch. Settings. That change video. Wait, was that a repeat? Lukey, thank you. <laughs> Two in a row. Yes, I was confused. Thank you. I'm working on it. It is saved in a folder on my computer called The Gulp. That's cute. The cat or what? Yeah, mushrooms are great. If you couldn't tell from the bits alerts and the bits badges, they're mushrooms. Big gulp. Sorry about the echo. I have stream elements open. Thank you. These are great. There's a bunch of different ones. So like, how many are there? There's one, two, three, four, five. There's five different ones for 100 bits. Um, there's also special ones for 69 bits and 420 bits. Bits, bits of more than 100 also have different mushroom things happening. But I like magic mushroom. You got three in a row. Well, that's weird. Not supposed to do that. Clear mushroom dance. Save. Um, okay, that's this. Okay, I have adjusted it. Um, so yeah, there's one, two, three. There's four different mushrooms for 100 bits. The gulp is now for, wait, no, it's not. I gotta change that. Lesbians! Hi! 
hi! It's so nice to see you. It has been a minute or two. What is going on? Thank you so much for the resub. Um, okay. That clip, the gulp is now the alert for 500 bits. You have a we have a level one hype train, what the fuck? Thank you for calling up the train, people. Yeah, the snails. Everybody should have snails, honestly. Live in the dream, damn. Wait. It's a variation. Smart. It's a variation. Maybe I have to change that. Oh, also these are different alerts. Hold up. I complicated my alert things. <gasps> Prof, thank you so much for 10 gifted. Wow. Holy shit, thank you. Mallard, what? Thank you so much. Um, uh, okay, the alert box, the settings, cheer alerts, variations. And this one says 100. And that's there. Okay. Um, let me see. I might, okay, so I might have made it so that if it's over a certain amount, there's different ones it can be. I saw Encanto, oh, it's so good. I love my dad to watch 10 minutes with me, and I said I'm finishing it. It's so good, isn't it? Lynn Manuel Miranda, yes. I am also a very big fan, although I've never seen Hamilton. Don't, don't yell at me, don't yell at me. Um, requirement, that one is for a thousand bits. There is a special one at a thousand bits, but um, let me check the rest of these. That one is required, and that one's required. How the fuck is it bringing up these other ones? Okay, let me save it. Um, okay, I saved it. These, oh, those are not the alerts that are on here. Which alerts are they? One second, I'm sorry. I do not know how salsa. Trip, trip, trip. We don't talk about Bruno. While pretending I know how to salsa. But doesn't that make it more fun, though? That makes it more fun, I think. Um, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to get this set up right this minute. I'm trying. I'm trying. High score run with the bit. Damn, thank you. I think those are the first bits you've you've cheered here. Thank you. That means a lot. So I have like several different uh alert screens, so that's why it's taken a second. Don't worry about it. Well, let me do this last one and then I will no longer worry about it. And I can show you the cool shit. I just discovered a new thing my sewing machine can do, and it's really fucking cool. Set video. Holy shit, it's level four. We haven't had a level four in months. Thank you, people. Thank you, everybody. That is very surprising. I used to know how to salsa, but maybe... Like oh, you're a swing dancer. <gasps> Fantastic. I could cut a rug if I do say so myself. I fully believe you. That is wonderful. I would love to know how to swing dance. My mom wrote notes to make me sit out of PE in 
elementary school and in high school and middle school. So, you know, that went a long ways towards helping me get bullied even more. So that was cool. Thanks, mom. And then in high school, well, no, she didn't write a note in high school. In high school, I just didn't tell her that they were doing dancing. So I... Oh! Um... Your turn, my turn. Thank you so much for the sub. Thank you. That is... Thank you. <laughs> So I didn't, t I didn't tell my mom about the dancing. Oh no, the train is leaving. Ugh, oh well. Um, I didn't tell her about it. So then I was like, I'm just gonna join in learn the dancing. So then... Oh, it's an owl. <gasps> it's an owl. And I got a little fox thing. Those are so cute. Thank you, everybody. Uh, this, this, this. Save. I think... Okay, I tried to do it again. I tried to do it again. Supposedly... It's the 500 bits alert. Allegedly, unless I'm just grossly incapable, but I did it on like three different alert scenes, so it should work It should but I'm also like not trying to force anybody to test it Yes Okay, that's all saved. Um, Fluky, wait You gave this up to Christian. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, let's go back to the cool thing that we've been doing. Is over here. There it is. Okay, one more try for Swelch. Uh, do I? I have to set it. Fuck. I have to set it to stay on longer. But it doesn't do. It doesn't do the sound because I haven't set it to go up longer. And now I'm going to because I know that that's the issue and later I won't remember that that was the issue. Fucking it. It's always something. How long is that clip? It is. Oh, I think it's. Is it all of four seconds? End of the bit. Three, two, one, zero. Oh, so it is four seconds. Okay, so it does come up. I think the TTS just overpowers it. So I can't help you there, but I tried my best. Anyway. Anyway, here we are, back where we were supposed to be. So here's the cool thing that I've been doing. I had some shorts I really like, and they had a hole. Uh, this way. So we've been um, fixing that. There's a patch and we've been stitching over that with a really cool specialized stitch that my sewing machine just does all on its own, which I've never used before and it's really fucking cool. Um, yeah, it, it does them and they look like this look like that and yeah it's looking like really really good I probably could not have planned this if I tried although I guess I've kind of been planning it but not in the same way not in the same way so I guess I don't know thank you for the hype train people that was super unexpected Uh, we no wait shit. Oh, here's the thread. So we line it up, and um, also the crochet snails are not. Wait, what? So were Mr. Rogers' boobs discussed, or were we just teasing? Um, I made that up off the top of my head. 
when I was like, I need a stream title. Uh. First, at first it was, if Mr. Rogers was a woman, and then I was like, that's not quite it. That doesn't have any type of, it just, that's not it. So then I was like, what if Mr. Rogers had boobs? And I was just more surprised that it let me type boobs because they, they censor so many words for the, the stream title thing. Um, but I guess the context is that I, I have said that when I come in, I, I almost never have my microphone like on and everything before stream actually starts after the starting soon screen. So somebody was, oh, that's going to go backwards. Somebody was giving me grief about it a while ago. Nope, that's not what I want. Somebody was giving me grief about it a while ago. And so I told them, like, you're just going to need to accept it and, like, get on board with it. Because, like, think of it this way. I'm If I'm Mr. Rogers, me putting on my microphone while we all say hi, it's like when Mr. Rogers comes in, takes off his jacket, puts on a sweater, and changes his shoes. And I really think it is a good metaphor, simile, one of those things. Oh, so we want to start this back here. So that's where it came from. I have no idea if I'm actually like Mr. Rogers or not. Nope. Ah, fuck. I got in the wrong spot. That little tab. I'm not in the right spot again. That's where it came from. I always say if anybody else has a great stream title, you're welcome to tell me about it and we can we can put it up on on the thing. Hmm? We are remembering your brother those wait, what? Those sexy dad fan service kids shows in Latino America. What? I don't even know what that is. But also, I, like, didn't grow up here, so I'm not a good reference. Can you please go into politics, please? Bernie's, like, a grumpy Mr. Rogers. No, he's not grumpy. He's, like, Mr. Rogers that takes no bullshit. Or, in his own words, I do not tolerate bullshit too ter- Like, he said something like, I don't tolerate bullshit well, or something like that. I thought this title was pretty good. Hey, thank you. Sometimes, sometimes I have really good ones, and then other times it's like, well, I think I chose poorly. Um, do, do, do. So that's there. You need another one of those. This is like really cool, but it's also because it's working so well, it's hard to show it off because it blends in. No, backwards. Mr. Rogers read the Bible. Yeah, he was a pastor. He was like actually ordained. He was, in fact, an actual reverend. Did you watch the documentary? It was really good. The problem with Mr. Rogers type is that they won't scream in your face. Is that a problem though? Because I think people listen more when you don't scream. Instead of reading the Bible here at Death Capital, is that a real book? Wasn't he? Um, not Mennonite, maybe, maybe Methodist or something. I don't know specifically. I don't remember. Somebody to the Wikipedia would tell us the answer. Uh, this one. Yeah, like, I have trouble finding my starting spot on this because it blends in 
so well. Yeah, not on his show, no. Thing with the screaming is that if they don't like you, they'll be scared to vote. If they do like you, they'll be more likely to vote. Maybe. Maybe. I think, I do think you get farther without screaming, personally. Presbyterian. Okay, that makes sense. Because I was like, he was one of them that's like, one of the churches where like, people are just nice. And they're not, like, overly conservative for the most part. I don't like being yelled at in either way. Same. I do not ever want to be yelled at. It's kind of the worst. Uh, okay. And I have a little gap, so we will make this smaller. Man, that fucking goat game is so fun. Yeah, I don't know. I think part of the, the, like, phenomenon of Mr. Rogers was probably that, like, that it existed before the internet and before, like, all of that. So maybe that, I think that had something to do with it. Why? I'm not sure. But I think that had something to do with it. Everyone's Catholic, super liberal town, but all the priests were liberal as well. Right, because, but like, with Catholics, is Catholicism, isn't it basically like, for the most part, do what you want as long as you're, your butt is in the pew on Sunday? Because like, there's confession, so like, it doesn't matter what you do, because you can just go to confession, right? Or that's kind of what I assume anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's like really long. Different taste, yeah. It's like most churches your mileage may vary. Fair enough. Fair enough. Because even within like within like more I don't know evangelical Christian type denominations even within that like there's so many different denominations and then depending on which individual church you go to it's still totally different everywhere so yep makes sense to me your unholiness hello hello it's nice to see you again you always pop up when we're talking about religion how, how does that happen? Mr. Rogers' boobs. He doesn't have boobs. It's supposed to be like, if Mr. Rogers was female, like, not him himself. I think I miss, I gave the wrong impression when I typed it, but, but here we are. She just said, love your neighbor, love yourself, and pay your taxes. I don't know how conservatives get it so wrong. Bingo. Who fucking knows? Because they pick and choose what they want. Mm -hmm. This is supposed to be short then. Let's go there. There is a June bug outside my screen, the window screen, and he is buzzing and flapping. Debt abolition. Fair enough. Um, the, uh, the Mr. Rogers boobs thing. I mean, I can explain it again, but 
what are we doing to these pants? We are fixing them. We're darning them. We're basically re reweaving denim. New Mexico, there's a long tradition of liberation theology. What is that? I don't know if I know what liberation theology is. My driver, my sewing machine, yeah, it's fine. It's not thick denim. These are shorts that are well loved. So the fabric is pretty, it's thin enough that it's, it's fine. If you write up your alley. I like stories. Religious movement. So I to apply religious faith by adding the poor, aiding the poor and oppressed through involvement in political and civil affairs. It stressed both heightened awareness of the sinful socioeconomic structures that caused social inequities and active participation in changing those structures. Oh, so the things that Christianity should actually be about, right? Because <laughs> that's... Yes, okay. There's some hardcore priests in Latin America. Oh, I bet. I bet. Yeah, like, part of that, it, like, this is one of the things that the McCarthy things were investigating. How? Like, I guess not how, because it literally was just, like, pointing fingers at literally anyone and calling them a communist, but Marie was so excited when JFK was elected president because he wanted to actually help people, or what? Priests, I went to prison for hunting to feed poor people. Wow. What, what did he do that was illegal? What law did he break? That's just ridiculous. This is just looking so fucking good. Hunting is not a thing. <coughs> Ow, excuse me. Not a thing here. Interesting. Is that because, like, there aren't... I don't know why... I guess why is hunting not a thing there? Because Maybe, like, there aren't wildlife populations that can sustain that, that can support that? Because in the U.S., um, I will say, I used to be like, mm, I used to think, like, maybe hunting is bad because it's, like, killing all these things. But then I took this fish and wildlife conservation class last semester, and I completely changed my mind. I am pro-hunting because, at least where I live, one of the main sources of conservation money comes from the sales of hunting licenses. And we're, again, where I live and in most of the US, hunting is necessary because humans have killed off the natural predators for things like deer. So they do become, they can become problematic with higher populations because no predators are keeping the populations in check. So humans have to take that role instead. Doesn't mean humans are perfect and people never fuck up. Like what's going on with the wolves in the northwestern U.S. If you look up hashtag realist wolves on Instagram, there is a whole slew of information that you should look at. Anyway. Boars. Because they're an invasive species. Oh yeah, hunt those fuckers. Gene Fauci, who is that? My argument's always been, why not just take the money you were going to spend on your hunting license and donate it to the conservationist charities? True, but then what would keep the populations of deer, etc., in check? Since we have gotten rid of all their natural predators. Places like Yellowstone and protected 
protected natural areas notwithstanding. Obviously. Also, I love that we get to talk about fascinating and important and real topics like this here. Thanks for being awesome, everybody. Oh, the hero from Lemus Room. I see. I've never seen Flesh Red that. Also Aladdin. I, I did see that one. Most of the money that goes to smoking prevention comes from selling cigarettes. Yes and no. Again, I'm only speaking for my state. I'm not speaking for everywhere. What might actually be true? That made such a whoop, like a zip sound. That was fun. We are saying it's true in a ton of places. Yeah. Oh dear. Here we go. Oh dear. <laughs> Pun not intended, but now fine with it. Ah, fuck. Bobbin thread almost empty. Ah, damn it. Mm. Yeah, that's almost out. Okay. Well, that's annoying. I have to take off the presser foot in order to... In order to change the bobbin. Look at all this lint. Can you see that? Like all this fucking lint. What about trophy hunting? Yeah, fuck those people. Trophy hunting, fuck that shit. Regular, like, regular hunting that most people do, which is like, they, it's a more sustainable way to get meat, etc. Like, that shit is all great. Trophy hunting is a total different issue. And now there's lint stuck on my face. super heavily taxed and then tobacco companies fund many of the anti-smoking programs because of laws true this is true that's a very good point um but yeah that with the smoking thing i don't know because like it's also convoluted and there's just so many angles to it but yeah that is a really good point hi basil what do you want Gotta wind a new bobbin. And this goes this way, I think. Ah, no. That's what we want. There we go. Oh shit, no, that's the very wrong way. Oh dear, oh dear. Um how do you wait, how do we pronounce your name? Dean Dino Dinos R D M? No, please tell me how to say your name. Dinos Redeem? Dinos Redeem? Like the Flintstones? I don't know. I grew up in Illinois on a lot of land in a place. There was five acres five acres of land. People come on property to kill deer. Steadfast in my belief that 90% of hunters are amateurs who leave the land worse when they got there. Why do you say that all hunters who, wait, what would make someone a professional hunter? But also, what do you mean by leaving the land worse than when they got there? Yeah, you don't go pick the animal. The conservation people have already chosen the ones for hunting because they're problematic or sick. Are you sure about that? Within the U.S. or 
Strawberry hunting are the only animals that are selected or causing problems elsewhere. Elephant that wouldn't stop charging these prop planes on a local airfield, so it was either trophy hunting or just get put down. I don't know. That's a really tough one. Oh, like Africa and stuff. I mean, yeah, I can see that. Oh dear, this um this is fucked up. Uh, I just wasted a lot of thread on this. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Instead of bi winding the bobbin, it wound underneath the bobbin. I don't even know how to explain this. This is bad. I'm going to need like two Fs. Thank you, Prof. Prof, you're always so prompt with that. Like, damn, y'all really love to point out my failures. Dino or Dino? If Mr. Rogers had Joshy Washy, that's a super fun name. Welcome. Those cardigans would have been much more impressive. <laughs> uh, this, okay. The fact that most people are seeing the Mr. Rogers thing without any context is very amusing. Oh god, this is going to take forever. I really fucked that up. That is an excellent point. Most people go out to get drunk and shoot things. I don't know how many times we had to track down hurt deer or property following trail things. People shot and killed. Oh my god. Yeah, that is fucked up and not how you're supposed to do things. Um, what my professor was saying in the fish and wildlife class, he was saying, this is so stupid, like, on the top of the sewing machine. Ah, way over here, we have the bobbin winder thing. And usually, where'd it go? Usually the bobbin sits up here and it winds super great, right? Except I did something stupid, I don't know what, and it wound underneath, which is really bad. So that's what I'm fixing. Sorry about my bad, bad thing I did. <sighs> um, that is most weekend hunters. Um, he, what he was saying was that in the last, I don't know, maybe five years, I don't know the time frame exactly, there is a new wave of hunters in Illinois, which is like women and people who normally would not be into hunting, but it's people who want to, they want to be more involved in their food, like they want to, I don't know, they want to source their own meat. And things like that which is completely understandable but it's like people from cities and things like that so I don't know in my mind I would think that like if it's people who are wanting to source their own meat I feel like maybe they'd be more responsible about it but I am also I realize I'm also an idealist <laughs> Cringe matron. Um, I love that. Welcome. Hi. Welcome, welcome. Nice to meet you. I am fixing some denim. I'm kind of reweaving some denim and we're... Well, I don't know what we're talking about. We were talking about one thing and then we got on the topic of hunting. Anything, anything goes here. We don't limit conversation topics for the most part. And I am undoing a rat's nest that I created on my sewing machine. Doing their part to curb factory farming. Uh-huh. Yes, a very big fan of that. Cows? Like, cows aren't even from here, for fuck's sake. Because there'll be influx of hunters that aren't a great shot. Not because they're because they're new. Yeah, they do have to do new hunter training, at least in Illinois. I think, I think they do, but they have these special events that people go to and they do receive proper training, which is a really good thing to have, a good program. Oh my gosh, it just, how did I do this? Oops. Oh. 
it's been entertaining. Well, I'm glad. I'm glad to hear that because I'm never sure. I'm never sure if it's entertaining here or not. Um, I'm curious about the, I don't know, like the percentages of deer hunters. Like, is bow hunting just really rare these days? I feel like I used to know people who did bow hunting, but maybe that's not so common. I mean, I'm sure it's not so common because it does require skill, but like, I don't know. Plus, with bow hunting, like, isn't it more likely that the deer's gonna, like, scamper off, run off somewhere, and you have to hunt them down to find them and to get your meat and retrieve your arrow, right? Ah, finally, you got it. There's one more piece. To the tweezers! I wouldn't say it's rare. Okay more for boars. I mean, in the U.S. people do bow hunting. And the wild, well, I don't know if they're technically boars, but there are some wild hogs in, I think they're mostly in the south that are an invasive species. I assume people can hunt them, but I don't actually know the rules about that. Okay, now, now that's all of it. Fuck's sakes, how did I even manage to do that? Javelin, no, not a javelin. 32% of hunters in the US are bow hunters. Fascinating. Um, yeah, bow, not bow hunting, but like hunting with guns. Also, like another big, pardon, maybe pun, but another big beef I have with it is like, the fact that so many hawks and birds of prey and owls, they die from lead poisoning because they eat squirrels or whatever other small things that they find. And if you shoot that and it has a bullet in there and the bird of prey or whatever eats that, they die from lead poisoning from all of those bullets and the lead seeping into their system. Mm. Oh, it's a, t it's a kind of pig. Oh, I had no idea. I don't know how you feed cities of 5 million without it. Closer to the population is off me, but I don't think it's going to be happening. And I, um, it really isn't like, really the issue is factory farming. The issue is factory farming, not that people eat meat because individuals and people are not the issue corporations are the issue um but also the factory farming because eating like local sustainable meat that's fine that's completely fine not everyone has access to that but it is far more sustainable i'm just offering that up because i know people love to be like well if everyone just stopped eating meat but it's important to remember that we as individuals, we're not the problem. We're not the ones who did all this. The corporations did it. Just to remind y'all. Once again, we are fiercely anti-capitalist here, if it wasn't obvious. Okay. Now, let me wind this again and hopefully not fuck it up. Boy, did I. Scissors, scissors are here. Because, yeah, they love to pollute all the things and, like, put all the carbon into the air and the atmosphere. And then tell people, like, recycle. That will fix it. No, it won't. It won't. So this goes here. Right. 
Okay, now I want to try this again. Okay, now the bobbin is winding for real this time. There's a much higher chance the deer runs off and isn't found. Yes, yes, with bow hunting, absolutely. I still eat as close to vegan as possible. That's great if that works for you. Um, oh no, I'm gonna run out of thread. Eh, shit. Well, no more bobbin. That's enough of that. I wondered about that happening. Oh dear, oh dear. Um, yeah, it's great if that works for you. I just... Like, I don't have any issue with veganism as long as you're not, like, a preachy vegan. My sister, who I am not close with and don't really talk to, she is a preachy vegan. Like, to the max. Um, and, like, we have to recognize that, like, sure, that's great and all, but it doesn't, it's not realistic for everyone. I am gluten-free because I'm allergic to wheat. If I were to be vegan... That would severely limit my food choices and just not realistic for me. So it's great for those it works for, but one size does not fit all. All right, get this show back on the road. I wonder the amount of meat that goes to waste in unsold supermarkets. Oh, I'm sure it's very high. As with just the amount of food in general that goes to waste and is thrown out because of expiration dates. There it goes. Okay, so we want this top thread. No, go under, please. I don't know. I don't know how you would find the data on that, but that would be interesting. I believe in capitalists, but only in the content context of a robust social welfare state. Fair enough. That's fair. I just don't know if that's actually realistic in the world we live in. Nice idea. I just don't know. Have people are being for animal rights reasons. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. How do you feed Chicago without factory farms while people are eating meat? Um, I don't have the answers. They could still have farms that are growing, growing meat, raising meat in a more sustainable way. Because it also comes back to um, environmental justice, which is like, why are minority and low income housing places and residential areas always next to, you know, factory farms and shit like that and next to the dump? Like, you can, there are better ways. There are absolutely better ways. There's no excuse for it. It's all related. And this one, let's start here. Oh, my contact's going blurry again. You follow a girl with Crohn's on Insta. I had to stop being vegan because it was becoming too hard to feed herself properly. Yup. I do know 
some cronies like that too. Oh man. I made that one too short. Oops. I feel like my hand is like way in the way of this. Yes, but um, things like Crohn's disease, that's an excellent example. There's always like, there's so much nuance that there's no way that one thing can work for everybody. Like that one saying, what's best for everyone is never best for everyone. I hope I don't run out of thread. That's going to be super not so great. But it is a real possibility. The market for food was truly free. Meat consumption would go way down. Yeah, agribusiness is super subsidized. Yep. and is fucking our waterways and just it's a huge huge problem and there are so it's so preventable and yet no and yet they won't do it Book in. If I did all the sections this way, then we'd get it done very fast. <sighs> Just like planting trees around the ag field, using cover crops. Cover crops are so great. There is literally like no negative to cover crops. And yet, and yet. And let's go to that. stay out of the marketplace it should stay out of a lot of shit it should stay out of politics too or corporations stay out of politics you know what i'm saying but here we are fluky your comment about capitalism in the context of a robust social welfare state are there places where you think where that where that is successfully working i mean i don't know like i guess europe is like the example there or something i'm assuming that's the answer i just don't see it happening ever for this country until like the next wave of humanity like what i was talking about last time with where like space time and shit that's too big to think about it's so satisfying when it goes really fast sometimes i don't know just random um i was thinking like maybe yesterday or something i was like i really want to play the goose game again and then i was like i could just like play it without streaming and then i was like i shouldn't do that because i think people would get sad because everybody was really having fun with that norway sweden denmark the usual suspects 
That's what I was thinking. Not so difficult, uh, but you know, greed. Um, I just played it for the first time on Wednesday night and it was amazing. It was everything I needed. So much fun. Uh-oh, we are down to the last of the thread. Fucking hey. Fuck, fuck, fuck. That's too dark. I could almost, I could like almost sew off of the bobbin. Pizza place! Welcome in, nice to see you again. Hi, Basil. What are you sulking about? She's just like walking back and forth to different parts of the house. Hmm? What about Mr. Rogers? What? The way you said that, my brain, for just a second, I was thinking like, Mr. Rogers, like, like how sometimes people will censor their swear words. I'm trying to think of ones that people say like heck or I don't know other stuff or when people say like just ridiculous things instead of like damn it or god damn it or whatever you'd be like Mr. Rogers I can't believe I did that what were you saying it for damn this sucks Did you used to say heck and gosh darn it when you were a kid? Um, I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, my, I have this memory of my brother in like saying that my grandma would say, oh, cookie crumbs instead of, oh, crap or oh, whatever. And yet, I have no memory ever of my grandma saying that, so I think my brother was just full of shit per usual. Um, I don't get angry enough to swear unless I drive for two seconds. Amazing. That's wonderful. Um, my mom, my mom would say dad gum it instead of god damn it. Um, I don't know, maybe something else. Um, but I don't recall that I ever did. I think I just like didn't use any expressions like that. Um, yeah, I don't think I did. Except for that one day, the day I stole all of the Lego gold. Um, that was the day I decided to try out the words I heard on the Little Rascals movie, the 90s version that had just come out not that long ago and I said finders keepers losers suck and my siblings were like oh um you said bad word I'm telling our parents weren't home so of course they told on me when my parents got home and then my mom tried to wash out my mouth with soap because parents used to do stupid bullshit like that and I just remember having my head over the sink while she was brushing my mouth with soap because what the fuck and just sitting there thinking like, why? This is gross. It doesn't teach kids a lesson. It's not effective. Don't do it. Hmm, this is gonna be darker. There's hardly any of that, so we'll try this one. No, not productive whatsoever. Hogwash. Hogwash is a good one. 
spends 12% GDP on social welfare. They spend over 25%. And it shows. And it shows. Uh, okay. I'm going to thread this up real quick like... Okay, yes, no other way. How did I do that? I, like, created a knot. <laughs> oh, there it goes. It's all good. Fish rates are about the same. It turns out, oh, between, like, the U.S. and the, the idyllic European countries. That's interesting. Nah, no. Go under here. Th no, fucking the thread that keeps like sticking to my hand. We'll just thread it through anyway. I think Nurse and Deuter mentioned that last night. Uh, maybe. I didn't stay that long. Mm, I wanted to learn to make the sleeves on my shirts shorter because you gotta show off the arms. Yeah, sun's out, gun's out. Duh. Um, yeah, it's not so difficult, I promise. Do you want, like, a cap sleeve or you want sleeveless? Strong social welfare in the U.S. is unlikely. What about the likelihood of abandoning capitalism altogether? I mean, maybe, but it's going to be a while. It's going to be a while. We have to have, like, the complete downfall of society first, right? Don't we? Feels like that's what's required. Um, I am going to... I didn't... I didn't take a five minute break at 10 o'clock, um, but I am gonna like do a quick BRB. I'll be back in just a couple minutes. A rolled up look. Oh yeah, that's doable. Um, carry on chit chatting. I will be right back.
yeah, yeah. Look, you try drinking a whole energy drink plus some and see if you don't have to pee after two hours. World of look. Yeah, you could. I'm sure there's something on YouTube. I cannot guarantee the quality of that video, but I'm sure there's some on YouTube. So yeah, I don't see the US abandoning capitalism as a whole until a while from now because progress is always slow and well, you have to have like the full on downfall, right? That's what I'm assuming. I'm no expert, but that's what I think. Anyway, this is looking so nice. Look, look, like from back here, can you even tell? Can you even tell? Barely up close. This is fantastic. Y'all need some revolution. Uh-huh. Precisely. Free fucking Blisely. Blisely. Oh, God. Precisely, not slicely. Oh, my gosh. So good, so good. And now I just hope that this new thread color isn't too much darker. Cause it might be. I went way too far over. Kind of a close match. It's more blue, but it's not so bad. This is, seriously, this is going great. I love it. I had no idea how this would go when we started it. No idea. Mm, there, start here, here, there, everywhere. Mm. Anyway, what else? Are you still talking about the same thing? You want to talk about something else? What do you want to chat about chat? It's, it's fine. It's fine. I think it's a good close enough color considering that it's secondhand thread. There are some people who insist that you should only ever sew with new thread and I'm like, who cares? I spent 35 cents at the idea store today because all I purchased was two spools of thread. Do I play any instruments, like musical instruments? Um, not really anymore. In, like, middle school, I was in middle school band, and I started out playing the saxophone. I did that for a while, and then I switched to xylophone bells, because I wanted to do percussion, 
and our sexist band teacher would not let girls play drums, even though we had one single drummer. Um, so it is xylophone bells. But other than that, no, not really. Um, I tried learning guitar, but um, the, I have hyperextensive joints. So there's some chord where you have like your finger on the bottom fret, I guess, or not fret, the bottom string. And then on like one of the strings near the top and have small hands. So my middle finger would always get stuck. Like my hands, they bend in ways they shouldn't. So my finger would always get stuck like this. And it was really painful. Um, so that put a damper on my ever learning guitar. And I can play piano by ear, but I can't really read sheet music very well. I can, but it would be like one note every five minutes because I have to like look it up and see what each note means. No, I'm not using, not using embroidery thread. Mostly, <clears throat> it would be expensive, I guess, but I also don't have nearly as many colors of embroidery thread as I do other thread. So this is just regular sewing thread. It would be kind of expensive, but I just, my main goal is to blend it in, so probably best at drums. That's cool. I will never know myself. Um, we need to go over some shorter spots. Per usual, I go to the bathroom and everyone ditches. So rude. Pizza, what other instruments do you play? Mm -hmm. Okay, so we need a shorter segment. And we need to go like right here. Guitar, piano, bass. When it's just bass, does that mean bass guitar or bass drum? Bass what? Uh oh. Oh dear. Something got stuck. That's not great. Probably because I have so many strings on the back of this. Prof, thank you for gifting Pizza Place a sub. Yes, enjoy your lovely snail emotes, less ads, exclusive Discord channels. Um, when we have game nights, you are welcome to participate. As I, um, everyone can hang out for game night, but only subscribers can play a lot. Have you tried playing bass instead of guitar? Who, me? Um, like bass, bass guitar instead of regular guitar, you mean? No, I have not. I've only tried an acoustic guitar many years ago. Yes, Basil, I hear you. Am 
not the only one that thinks about yep why do people do that johnny is only the messenger he is super nice though but he is only the messenger less chords huh no i did not know that Learn something new every day. Trimming these little inside threads because I don't want them to get stuck again. That would be bad. I scored, do you play anything? Any instruments? Or you just know stuff about bass guitars. I'm not brilliant. No, you're fine. You're fine. Other people have done it. I just find it amusing. Okay, so I did that other blue and like, like, you still can't really even tell. Can't really even tell that I used that other blue. So cool. It's over here. Fan-fucking-tastic. I love it, I love it, I love it. Guitar and bass, but not well. <gasps> That's really cool. That's really cool. I didn't know that about you. I like learning stuff about you, High Score, because you're mysterious and you don't tend to volunteer information about yourself. Hmm. So now, now we should do some diagonal. I almost wonder if diagonal is overkill, but perhaps not. Perhaps not. Now you can wash the pants. Oh no, there are more holes. This isn't quite done. We're not quite done. But then there's a hole up here. There's a hole over here. There's the fucking... Oh, there's a tiny hole here. There's this hole if I really want to. And there's this hole that I cut with the scissors um, the other day. Last Friday, I think. When I... um did that really dumb thing in in the blink of an eye a lot of times people i can do things because they don't look smart enough to play the guitar what the hell does that mean you can't tell that somebody you can't tell that somebody plays the guitar nor how well they play the guitar just by looking at them obviously if you look at them and they're in a rock band on the stage. That is the exception, clearly. I remember that. It is unforgettable. Are you going to put a patch on the tiny hole or just over? I don't know yet. I figure one, one hole at a time and we'll get to it. But yeah, I don't know. Not certain. I really want to use this one because it's really pretty. But I fear it might be too dark. Might be too dark. It was a goose that ripped a hole in the shirt. Yeah, okay. Sure. Probably, though, in, in that universe. Okay, so how is the diagonal going to work? Carefully. It's going to work carefully. And I may not even do very much with the diagonal. And just gonna line up like here, I think. And I'm gonna extend that when we get a longer pass. Looking great. Thank you, sneakers. Very nice of you to say. 
I keep bumping that. I'm sorry. Is this tiny camera even, like, is this even beneficial? Because I'll be honest, I don't know. And I'm always wondering when I change things around with cameras, like, I'm always looking for feedback. Get it. So nice. Seeing what's going on. Yeah, it shows. Uh, what shows? I mean, I guess it's like right up in there. So, I don't know. I just, I'm hoping it's an improvement over how I had it last time. You can see the action. Okay, thank you. That's what I was looking for. Sorry, I just miss things if they're not specific because my brain is. My brain's real dumb like that sometimes. It shows the stitching. All right, excellent. Wow, okay, this blue is really, this was a good blue. Damn, it is like nearly invisible. Damn, this is good. I just, it's so good. So good, so good. Like Sweet Caroline, so good. That's how you know. This one's going to be a long one. I'm just really scared that I'm going to stitch the pocket onto itself. Even though it is pinned, but I'm scared I'm going to like just catch the edge of it. Because that would be something I would do by accident. Well, I hope the view is helpful. I really want to, like, do this so I can get this. But it's hard when I can't, like, hold this in place. <coughs> Ow! Ever get like just something right here? Ugh. Jeez. What else is going on? What else shall we chat about? This is not going to go great because my left hand is just, like, so unreliable. I'll go slow. Oh dear. Oh dear. You got caught by the pocket. Ah, fuck. I knew it wasn't going to work that well. Have you seen Top Gun? You know, I'm not sure. Maybe. I might have seen it. If I did, it was cool some years back and I don't really remember. <laughs> You've seen the Chippendale movie? I have not. I just learned about it, I don't know, like last week or something from Sneakers. Were you the one who came in talking about the Chippendale movie? Somebody came in talking about it, and they were like, it was so good. And that's when I even, that's when I first learned of its existence. But no, I have not watched that. 
Um, we just finished, like, last weekend, we just finished, ow, ow, fuck, that hurt, <laughs> and I didn't even, like, do anything, ow, this green cutting mat that's on my desk, it's hanging over the edge, like, a centimeter, half a centimeter, and I went to put my scissors down, and I caught, like, right on my finger, like, on the edge of it, and that really, ow, that hurt. Um, yeah, last weekend we finally finished Inventing Anna, and that was really good. I liked that one a lot. And then I read up, read up some about the actual lady, and they did a really good job with the actress, like, actually looking like her. I was impressed by that. We watch oh we watched I don't even we didn't even finish it we started watching some fucking horrible movie I don't even know the title of it I don't want to know the title of it it was some movie that was like Tina Fey and Paul Rudd it was older like the 20 the 2010s area five five years give or take around 2010 I think is when it came out it was Tina Fey and Paul Rudd, and it was just trying way too fucking hard. It was awful, and we just, like, turned it off. And we watched something else to, like, cleanse our brain and make us forget about it, which was successful, because I don't remember the movie, and I don't want to remember the movie. Um, but I'm now I'm not sure if I can remember the movie that we watched instead. I'm not sure. Um, trying to see how long this is because I can speed that up I haven't made a sewing TikTok so if I do that for this that will be interesting then again there will be more oh it's 27 seconds that's pretty good that's pretty good Close, close. Uh, there was some other movie that was out. I see, I sometimes see new movies um, mentioned on like HBO because we have access to that through um, a friend. He has like all the streaming things and he just shares the logins with us, which is really nice. Mm. Okay, so we need another diagonal. Going here, about here, I think. Yeah, what other new movies are there? Because I really am not... I'm not good at keeping track of this stuff, like, at all. I live under a rock, pretty much. Pretty much. I feel like my chat's gonna jump or everybody just got silent. So fucking good. I love it. Well, you finished watching the first episode from the Obi Wan series. Oh, from Star Wars. Yeah, I guess that's new. People keep asking if I've watched it, and I just like since Disney bought Star Wars, like just like doesn't do anything for me. I've never been like, oh you should Star Wars. I've always been like, oh yeah, that was cool. Like I like Star Wars. I like the movies. But 
like any TV shows of it. I haven't watched and like Dan, both of us just don't have any interest in those. Belku, hey, did you just get home? How's Kim? What'd you, what did you two make for dinner? You did, uh-huh, you crazy kids. I'm just kidding. I love, I love this for you, and it is making me really happy that you're having a great time. So are you two, like, a thing now? Because you've been, like, together nonstop for, like, what, like, a week now? When do you decide that? Because, you know, it is important to actually have that talk so that everybody knows where everybody stands. Belku met a lady last week when he was out line dancing and it is a whirlwind and it's, it's just, I love it. I'm like old and common law married now, so gotta live through all you kids out there. We're doing the things and having the adventures. Maybe I want to go over that, but maybe I don't. You can't even tell. You cannot even tell. Look. Like, what, what hole, what hole? You can't even fucking see it. Damn, it feels good to be a gangster. Oh, those were not, those were vertical. Fuck, I gotta fix this horizontal shit. <sighs> yeah, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with myself. <clears throat> we went out to dinner, ooh, with her mom and uncle. They want to go to Cheddar's. I am floored that Cheddar's still exists. Like... That has never been a good restaurant. How are they still in business? How? Yeah, I'm sure it was colossally disappointing because it's cheddars and how are they still out? How are they still open? Wow. <clears throat> so you've met the family is what you're saying. That's pretty quick. So am I, you're surprised to see them around? Yeah, like how the hell are they still in business? How? That's wild. Hmm? Whoa. Whoa. Oh, oops. Ah, uh, it's going the way I didn't want. No. Stop. People without taste buds? I mean... But then, if that, if that were the case, there would be more of them in the Midwest. Because, you know, Midwesterners famously love their bland food. Bland food, white or brown in color. Mm, so we got that. Let's put this one here. Yeah, that'll work. What kind of place is Cheddar's? Uh, how would you describe it? I've never been to a Cheddar's. I've never been to one. I just have driven by them here and there. And like when I lived in Peoria, there was a Cheddar's on this like, it's sit down, but it's still casual. Like there isn't like a fancy dress code or anything. Uh, 
Ah, fuck, I did that thing again where it's not lined up. Why do I do that? Um, yeah, like, it's a sit-down restaurant. A one meal, a meal for each person probably costs around $20. I mean, I didn't like fuck up, fuck up. It's just this little tab has to be behind this other tab and it keeps, it just gets undone so easily. Hmm. But thank you, because I'm sure even without that I have fucked up other times and other places, so... I'll allow it. Just above fast food. Yeah, just above fast food. Two or three different meals for myself. Beige? So it sounds fancier. Oh, like bland white foods. Bland beige foods. You've known her uncle for a long time. Oh, he works on saddles. I see. I see. So this is one of those things where, like, the ma getting ahead of everything, but, like, jokingly, like, the marriage would be good for business, I see. If this was, like, the olden days. <laughs> okay, that's not good. What is happening? What is that? It was, like, making a sound that I didn't like. I think all these little threads on the back are causing an issue. Has she met your family yet? Snip that. You both already agreed one marriage was enough for both of us. You didn't tell us you were married. Story time. It's not even Sunday, but story time. Unless you want to hold it for Sunday, but I'm going to, I'm going to, if you want to wait for Sunday, that's okay, but I'm going to hold you to it. Just your uncle that you keep horse with. All right, all right. Uh, let's put this one. Nah, fuck it. We'll just do this here. I don't know what the problem is, because this is going fine. Mm -mm -mm. What will he say? Hm. Well, okay, let's try that again. Let's try that again. Mm. Okay, and let's make sure there's no other fabric. Okay, this is behind the other tab. I don't know what the problem was. Sometimes you just gotta start it all over and make it work. A uh, married girl I went to high school with, I met again several years after school, it only lasted about six months. That does sound vaguely familiar. Is that anything to do with the rose tattoo? I feel like there was something like that with the rose tattoo, but I don't 
my brain could be making things up. It's, it's, it's very possible. Oh yeah, that's better. Just making it all invisible. She was the stripper. Oh, the rose was for the hooker. My bad. My bad. My bad. M my mistake. It's all a story. I love it. What is life but a collection of experiences that lead to great stories? Hmm. Wonderful. I love. I love that. How fun for you. No. So what got you into that marriage and why did it end, if I can ask? Y'all, this is looking so good. I know I keep saying that, but I'm like pumped about it. Let's get mm -hmm. get some over here, make it a little shorter. Nope. <gasps> the the stripper, she was pregnant. I came home one day and she cleaned out the house and I haven't seen her since. And how long ago was this? Damn. That's some shit. Does that mean you have like a kid running around somewhere? Or maybe it's not, maybe it's not your kid? The layers to this. The layers. The to this story just when you think like oh yeah cool story there's more maybe wow that's wild Well, you know, best to get all that stuff out in your youth or something. Hmm, I feel like now that looks weird. But we can just do some short segments again. chat who else is hanging out like i swear i go to the bathroom and everything dies why why am i not allowed to go to the bathroom go to the bathroom everybody leaves hi old man here hi henry what's going on why do you why are you calling yourself an old man Because Twitch is owned by Amazon. Wait, what does that have to do with... What? Explain, please. Yeah, that's good. Oh, that's perfectly on the line. Good job, me. On the line, but too far back. 
Oh, fair enough. Fair enough. Because Twitch is owned by Amazon, no bathroom breaks. Touche. Touche, my friend. You nailed it. I'm sure that's part of it. How dare I? Yeah, because I went for the big NOS today. The one at the gas station that's basically one and a half cans. They were two for six. So I was like, okay, I'll give this a try. So I bought two of them. I will not be doing that in the future because that's just way too much. Nobody needs that much. Does it taste different? No, no, it's the same thing. It's just a larger can. Just a larger version. Hmm. I don't know, I might call this one good. I don't know what the hell else I can do on this. <clears throat> <clears throat> like that over here. Okay. And if I bring this down, like, like what the hell can I possibly improve on this? Fabric underneath? What fabric underneath? I guess that does look like really blue on the camera, but from a distance, it will not be noticeable, I don't think. I'd have to, like, go back over it with some of that light stuff, but it's going to be fine. We had six Red Bulls before and, like, coffee better. Yeah, because Red Bull is gross. Did you find the Mango Nos? No, I did not, but to be honest, I haven't looked. Actually, when I was at the gas station, I didn't even look to see, like, what kind of Nos they had. I just looked for the blue can. The blue and orange, that's all I looked for. Okay, next, let's move on to another damaged location. Let's fix the, the hole I made in the crotch because that is actually more important. That is fundamentally more important. And that one is going to need a patch. It's already fraying. Why does this happen to me? Ridiculous. I cannot believe I did that. It was like last Friday, maybe somebody was saying something and I wasn't looking and I thought I was just snipping a thread. No, I snipped a giant fucking hole, not giant, but I snipped a hole in the crotch of the shorts I was repairing. If it's noticeable, you're standing too close. True point, true point. Plus, like, the thread, the colors of the thread, it will fade a bit over time. Yeah, that's gonna look really nice. Okay, we need mm, that patch fabric. Where, where the fuck did I put that stuff? Um, it was just the small segment. So this... And this hole, um, damn it, this is going to have to be like a two inch by two inch square, just to be safe. And it's going to be such a weird spot for it. <laughs> I hate it. Running out of space on this desk. Goodness, hi. Hi, welcome. Um, congratulations. Um, so women's one. This is my first IRL friend to join the Twitch chat. Welcome. Yeah, it's long. I really like it though. What's going on? What are you up to? 
So the current project is we are mending some shorts that had a hole here. And now, now it's like, what hole? Yeah, because, so I'm not like, I've never had like my, I've never talked about my streaming on any of my personal socials because because my family ruins things so that's why I haven't done it so that also means that like most of the people who actually know me also miss out somewhat but some of them have well some of them have like followed my other Instagram but that's different anyway yeah some men go bald I guess so what what is the context with that? Mario Kart. Uh, yeah, I played, well, you know that. I played Untitled Goose Game yesterday for the first time and it was fucking fantastic. Uh, we need a two inch, two inch square. Mm -hmm. We, yeah, we're just hanging out, chit-chatting about whatever. Let's grab the scissors that created the problem in the first place. Um, last Friday, I was saying something. I thought I was snipping a thread, but I cut a fucking hole in the crotch of the shorts that I've been repairing. So, you know, go me. And now, now it is time to repair that particular injury. Uh, let's do, that's two inches. Oh, this has to come up. I don't know, people, what do you want to talk about? I'm not great at coming up with things, so... Now we snip. TV is your go. What? Henry, I'm not following what you're saying. Remember, I don't know, maybe it was a couple weeks ago when that person came in who was like, I have a really long story if you don't mind or something. And they started writing these like super long paragraphs like they had never been in chat before and they just had these really long paragraphs and they were like they started talking about like i don't know like korean war or something and then they were like something something the gulf war and i was like hold on a second what what is the point of this story where are you headed with this and then they disappeared weird uh, and somebody clipped that. I don't know who it was. Somebody clipped that. But I too am amused by it. But also, like, why the fuck do people go into chats and do shit like that? It's very weird. I am just cutting the two inch by two inch square right now. Sorry. It's not visible because, you know, I'm out of space on this desk. Uh, let's do this and make a line not there but here whoa 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 nope but wait what I was a bit curious about the history I was too I was too is that fun, Korea? Yeah. I mean, like, that's cool and all, but it was, this was, like, a first-time person who had never been in here, and, like, it was just, like, you know, instead of, like, reading the room or, like, chatting with, chatting with us about whatever it is that we were talking about first, they came in and they were like, if you don't mind, I have a story. 
And like, I'm, I like stories. I'm fine with that stuff for the most part. But like, how many, <clears throat> I was thinking like, how many parts is this story going to be? You know, like, two, three, 12, 12 installations? Like, what's the limit? Yes, I, I don't know. I just, I was more amused that somebody clipped that. People clip the strangest things. Oh, that's not the right spot. Oh, go there. Mm. Eh, no, yes. Okay, we're gonna try it. Hopefully this is right. Maybe. Yeah. I did cut it correctly, or I measured it correctly. Yeah, you should have posted like a Twitter thread. Exactly. But that's the thing like, with the Twitter threads like, I think people just do like one slash two slash because I don't think they put the the final number because like how can you know ahead of time how many tweets it's going to take up if that makes sense. I still don't fully understand Twitter. I feel like everyone on Twitter takes themselves way too seriously. Like way too seriously. I don't know. It's a lot harder to interact with people there. This costume three million years ago. Yes. I made one year for Halloween. We were characters from Alice in Wonderland. Hey, Christian. Got him. Um, one year for Halloween, we were characters from Alice in Wonderland. And women's was a brunette Alice. And her man, he, he wanted to... I think originally you guys were like, can he be the white knight? And I was like, you're coming to me the day before Halloween and you want me to make a white knight costume? Absolutely not. So instead, he was one of the cards from the queen's army. He was one of the cards. So I made him like this white tunic and I cut out like spades or whatever and put them in the corners and stuff. It was lovely. And then he just had to wear like a black turtleneck underneath. Perfect. And I was, I was the white rabbit, but I was like a hot white rabbit, but not a slutty white rabbit. Cause this is the Midwest and it's always cold as fuck on Halloween. Eh, close enough. It wasn't a mosquito, it was a gnat. Just lurk. Um, that's all right. Um, civil engineers, do you follow me on Instagram and Twitter? Because if you don't, you should. Yeah, Mothy season is back. Yeah, I'm no, I'm no master sewist. Uh-uh. A nice idea, but above my skill set. Uh, here's our interfacing. And we need some stitch witchery. I, I should, like, adjust the camera, but you know what? I'm not gonna. Too much work. Ow. Baxton. Hey, friend. Does Mr. Rogers have boobs? Um, he does if I'm Mr. Rogers. Probably wouldn't have made mittens. With an extra finger. Wait, what? What? Did you sew mittens and give them two thumbs? No, I don't know. I Sometimes I make weird stream titles because I don't know what to say. And it just popped in my... Ow, it popped in my head. And, well, sewing class. And I've had two thumbs. Oh, man. 
when did you take a sewing class? Was that in high school or something? I've never taken a sewing class. My mom taught me some stuff when I was really, really little. And I've kind of just like figured it out or just, or I've just done a lot of really bad sewing on my very janky sewing machine I have before this one. High school, I see, I see. Patchwork pillow, oh, that's probably really cute. And that's straight seams. Put the right sides together, sew a seam, carry on. Those are very straightforward, those are good. Saxton, what are you up to? So we are um, creating the patch for the next repair. There's like six different holes on these shorts because originally somebody paid money for them to be pre-distressed and I just can't with that shit. Just trying to cut very, very carefully. All right, now we iron them together. Oh, I got a new iron, finally. Remember they sent me the one iron that was like obviously used and gross. So we returned it and they sent another one. And some of the, ra the wrapping on that one was kind of sketchy, but it was clean at least. It was clean and usable, so I was like, I am, and, okay, and the, like, instruction booklet thing was actually, like, placed in there nicely instead of, like, folded up and jammed in there. So I was like, okay, it's much more likely that this one is new. <laughs> was gaming now surfing USA? What were you playing? So, yeah, now we have a new iron. It's great. It looks really huge, but that's because it has a retractable cord, which is kind of everything, in my opinion. Okay. See, see, look, here's the cord. Wait. Hold up, cord wheel. Ah! Ow! Okay, it works. <laughs> Plug it in, plug it in. Uh, we want steam. Even though I haven't put any water in that. It is, I mean, I think it's fancy. I think it's fancy, but it's a $30 iron. Like, I don't know, fancy is relative. I wanted a new iron for a long time. And I couldn't like justify it for some reason. And I've had that one like for ages. I think my brother got it when he was going to college in like 2005. And it was a $10 Walmart special. And it still works great, but I would like to be able to steam, steam things better. And being able to reel the cord is like, everything it really is nice iron hey thanks all right let me, ah, let me do this i need like a press cloth let's do mm. well i've got a shirt no i'll use this pillowcase Oh, wait, no, I had a, there is a piece of fabric here that I was using. That will work. Because I don't want to get 
um, like the sticky stuff, I don't want to fuse that to my iron that's brand new, you know? That would be not so great. Okay, but I said sticky. Ooh, there it is. That's very nice. Apparently, there's a sticker on this that says it has a 10 year limited warranty. That's pretty neat. I think we have fusion. Fusion has occurred. Let's just make sure it's dry. Ta-da! So cute and little! Wait, here, there, no, wait, shit. There it is. Yeah, uh, we do a lot of different things here in the channel. We do a lot of crafty type things. Sometimes we play games. Sometimes, sometimes we don't get anywhere and we just hang out and chit chat. Is that in your pocket? Is what in the pocket? Dancing person? What did, no, what is that emote? Elvis? No, it is a cat. It's, it's the rip and dip cat. The rip and dip cat and he'll flip you, flip you off. The only person I have like flipped off with my pocket is my sleep specialist. Because he's fucking awesome. And I was wearing this shirt one day when I had an appointment. And um, he, I don't even know how it went. He was like, oh, that's a cool shirt or something about that. He was like, oh, that's cool with the cat on the pocket. And I was like, actually, the cat is kind of rude. And I was like, here. And he laughed. Because <laughs> <clears throat> he's the best. Oh, this rip. I'm so upset about it. Need to snip these. Let me get the tiny scissors. Ah! <sighs> Don't drop sharp sharp scissors in your lap if you can help it scary just snipping the frayed threads out of the way they don't cause problems This name, maybe uh, that one. E, okay, that will work. That will work. Yes, that, that does count as a drop. Thank you. Thank you. Specialized in sleeping. Um, I did. Yeah, he's amazing. I got really lucky that I got a good one on the first try. Um... Okay, wait, will this fit? Will this fit? Yes, yes it will, but it's going to be like ridiculously too large. Maybe, maybe we just do it that way, yeah. Nope, I think that's what we do. Ironing this is gonna be really weird cause like it's right on the crotch. That crossroads area, you know? Can't believe I did that. Still. Anyway. What's good? I guess it's like Memorial Day weekend. Holidays kind of mean nothing to me anymore. Memorial Day, what do you, like, 
Monday, a lot of people, a lot of people get Monday off work. Cool. But like, other than that, is there anything to it really? I know some people, I know for some people that's like the first grilling day of the year and like public pools open. Public pools open and people are going to flock to the pools because they're like, it's outside. That means it's safe. However, when the public pools are fucking crowded and you can't even swim because there's like a foot of space between people, no, you're still going to get COVID at the pool. All right, let me see how this will work. It's going to be really tricky. Fuck, do we iron this? Yeah, this is gonna be super weird. I'm really excited that we're getting a green screen. I'm really excited. I just remembered about that. <gasps> no, that needs to go on the inside. Okay. Okay, so. That means it needs to go like here, and I need to, okay, wait, 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 wait. I need to just, there's like a flap. There's a teeny tiny flap of fabric, and I feel like I just need to snip that, but at the same time, I don't want to. It's so bad again, yup. Yeah, get your own pool. That's even better. So much better. The only pool I have is, it's like six inches deep and made of hard plastic. I need to get rid of it. Oh, that's a good time to put it on Marketplace. This is a great time to do that. Because yeah, I was waiting until it was warm enough and people were looking for such things. But yeah, I suppose this weekend would be a great time to get rid of it. Man, this is gonna be so uh, I feel like I'm gonna, I'm going to fuse the pants fabric, like, against itself. Feels inevitable. All right, wish me luck. Hope I don't burn myself. Holding all this stuff in place. <laughs> this iron has that like really nice new plastic smell like new plastic new vinyl that kind of smell you know it's good it's good okay it's on there it's on there i did not I didn't fuck it up. I didn't fuse it to itself. So that's good. Now we just gotta iron it a bit more, dry it out. I'm like holding this thing backwards. I, I, not a, I don't advise it. And really, I should turn that over. That, yeah, this will work much better. You can use the end of the ironing board when you have openings like sleeves and legs. I was just waiting because I was using a cover cloth so I don't fuck up the sole of my iron. Ow! still a pin in that good enough good enough all right so we have a patch which we will now begin to sew over just buy a lake while you're at it as as you do oh yeah you go to the ozarks that's true they have a place on the lake it's dead so you can actually pull. That's good. 
Are they still planning to do that this year? Personally, I would not, but to each their own. All right, we're gonna have to figure out what color, eh, what color matches this best. Um, your own holiness, how many lakes do you own? I'm gonna use, actually maybe we start with that and then I will go with a darker, a darker blue. Yeah, that is a good plan. It's gonna be so awkward. No. So, okay, all right. Keep it flat and, okay, so vertical needs to be last on this and we need to make these darning segments pretty small, pretty small. Um, actually, I'm gonna test it, I'm gonna be smart again. Look at me, making good choices, and I'm going to test it again to make sure I have it as long as I want so I don't go overkill. Why am I being more careful on the crotch, the place nobody's going to be looking at on my shorts? I don't know. Probably because I will know. You want to see if things are in August. Oh, and school starts. That's smart. You can stay away or sit in your chair. That's a good good point. Cypher, hey. Hello, hello, welcome. What's going on? What you up to? Cypher, look. Look at the leg of these shorts. Look. Look at this. Look at this hole. What hole? There's no hole here. It, there was never a hole. This fabric has been, has been whole the whole time. I didn't plan that, but I'm happy with how it came out. Hmm? Better late than never or whatever. Meh. You are perfectly on time as far as I'm concerned. Oh, you have ads. I'm sorry. I will wait and I will ha be happy to re-show you. And we're back. All right, excellent. Um, I was going to show you the shorts that I've been working on because you were here when we started them. Um, here we are. This is what we were working on. And then I said, hole, what hole? I don't see any hole. They, this fabric has been whole the whole time. Um, that part is fixed. That part is fixed. We're moving on to the much smaller holes, starting with, starting with that hole in the crotch that I cut when I was looking away last week. Lurking, play a card game. All right, no worries, no worries. Enjoy your cards and thank you for the lurk. And thanks for stopping by. It was so nice. Sorcery. Uh-huh. A little bit, a little bit. So, yeah, now we're moving on, on to the next. Okay, so this needs to be a little bit longer. We'll do two clicks longer and see what we get. And we'll start. Here. And I kind of started like going full throttle because it's really fun. I'll be back. Cool beans. 
Why did I say cool beans? I don't know. Hi, Syrup. Welcome. Nice to see you here. What's going on? So I did it two clicks and it's just about the same. I guess it really is millimeters. I'm just kind of like measuring to see if that's enough. That would be a bit longer. Mm. And we will do this one here. Right to the edge. A year of whatever this is, Lucas. Oh my goodness, hi. 12 whole months. The 12 month sub edge is about to look like a million times better. But I'm not done with it yet. Um, welcome in. It's hard to believe that it's been a whole year that you've been sneaking into my chat. So much has happened in that time. What's going on, sir? It's super nice to see you tonight. Need some Friday energy. Better grab some quick. It's almost over, technically. Or for you, I guess it's already over because you're on Eastern time. Friday streams, I tell you, Friday streams are always magic. Magic. You just got home from drinking and dinner. What did you have for dinner? Did you go out? What did you have? Food with a side of COVID, I assume. But aside from that. Kind of sorry, not sorry. I'm not sorry. Went out with friends. Did you wear a mask? I hope you did. Okay, so this... We will go that way. And that is going to have to be a bit longer. Fuck. Fuck a duck. Hmm. But why is that even longer? But if it is, then that's what I need. It's still requiring Vex guards and I always wear a mask still. Good. I hope it's like an N95... Because the little flimsy ones or cloth, they don't do shit with all the new variants. And being vaccinated doesn't mean shit either. Fuck these trifling unvax unmasked hoes. Sure, but also fuck the trifling unmasked hoes who are vaccinated. Because your vaccine really doesn't mean shit with the new, va the new variants. Because you can still get it and you can still pass it around to everyone, which creates all the new variants. Which means immune compromised people like myself. Can't go out in the world still. Mm, okay, I guess, I guess I wear it. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna do horizontal first and then vertical. Also, then, there's a doctor, so we're very cautious. Ooh, what kind of doctor? How did I not know this? How did I not know that? That's really cool. Uh, this one's going to be tricky too because, you know, that crossroads. Crossroads, crotchroads, whatever you want to call it. It's always raised up more. See what we get. I think it's gonna work out just fine. Ooh, maybe a little short even. An emergency medicine. Nice, nice. Like emergency room, like trauma center stuff. Cats ate my face. That's a really great name. Look like my ex's boyfriend if he was a 
girl. Wait, what? Okay. Um, thanks, I guess. Welcome, cats ate my face. And Michelob Dog, welcome. Thank you so, so much for following. You are my 1,401st follow. Thank you. Thanks for getting us over that milestone. I'm going to want this to be a lot denser. So new people coming in. We are darning denim. We're like restitching it, recreating it basically to repair some holes in a pair of shorts I like a whole lot. We are chit-chatting about pretty much whatever, as we do. But we're glad you're here. Remember earlier when I ran out of thread? That was not a good time. What is this? What is this? Guess we will tack that down on another pass. Luckily, the smaller holes should go faster, and since I have a much better idea of what I'm doing, that also ought to help, I think. Where were we? What were we chatting about? Um, I'm assuming Lucas went into the lurk, deep lurk mode since, like, there was a distraction. He's sneaky like that. He stitched me broken heart. My ex left a mess after she left me. Oh, man. That is rough. And you've got, you've got away with words. I'm sorry to hear that. Um, I don't know. I can try and help. You're welcome to... Um, well, how long ago, how long ago did this happen? Time heals, but it can take a long time. Nice. Oh, yeah, that works. I will accept this. Eighteen years ago. Well, that's a while then. I don't know what to tell you. I thought Sunday was the lonely heart stream. It's true. It's true. Sunday night. Sunday night is our our real night where we focus on that stuff. It's Sunday night love lines, and we encourage all love love adjacent and somewhat related stories. Good, bad, weird, crazy. Any and all of the above. So hold on to that idea. And bring it back Sunday. Slowly recovering. Uh-huh. Mm, let's see. Where is that other blue? This one. I think it might be a little dark. Ooh, ooh. Either this one might be a bit dark. This. The iron is beeping at me. There was like an owner guide with it, but it just was like, don't electrocute yourself. No using the iron in the tub, etc. It didn't actually tell me anything, but I think it has like an automatic off feature. Just so lonely. Um, well, just because you're lonely, that's not a good reason to get into a new relationship. Plus, 
Plus, you know nothing about me. That's also, you should know some things about a person before you try and get in a relationship with them. You think? That's what I think, anyway. Everybody else, what are you doing? Ah, come on. There it is. Okay, so... Maybe, maybe I try a little bit of diagonal in the center for this one. For Yeah, for all you know, I am an axe murderer. It's true, I could be. You don't know. You don't know. Great point, Cypher. Maybe there's some single ladies in chat. Well, I mean, don't come in just trolling for for ladies you don't even follow my channel so like the least you can do is at least follow my channel before you start trying to pick people up here or like creepily into clowns that could also be true i don't mind clowns um aic welcome in welcome in What are you up to? We are repairing denim. And apparently causing people to have um, sexual confusion about Mr. Rogers. Apparently. It's beep, not, it's not beeping, but there's a light that's flashing. I kind of just want to let it sit and see what it does. I feel like it's going to shut itself off at some point. Kind of feel like cruising for chicks on Twitch is probably not a good use of your time. I mean, if you're being serious about it, yeah, that's not a great place for that. Or she collects Hummel figurines and it's all she talks about. You got me. I love those fucking things so much. There's one girl in high school that hated clowns. Yeah, a lot of people are like afraid of clowns but phobias are irrational just by their nature for the most part so yeah sometimes it be that way You don't know what kind of monsters there are out there, and there are a lot of monsters. It's true. Uh, Cat saved my face. Thank you so much for the follow. I do appreciate that. Some monsters turn out to be actually super kind and humble. I suppose. That would make them not a monster, right? Are monsters mean and... What's the opposite of humble? Costume, mascots, make me uncomfortable. Yes. Yes. Same. Like, people in, like, big mascot suits. Nope. No thanks. Don't like those. I will hide. Sounds hilarious. I guess so. Um, I, am, I was thinking of it one way when I wrote it, and everyone has taken it the other way. Which doesn't actually surprise me. Acres, welcome. I feel most people who claim to hate clowns only hate them because they're told to hate them. You know what, AIC? I agree with you. Because it's like... Yes, because a lot of people claim it so that other people are like, Yeah, I'll go with that. I agree. Arrogant, yeah. So I guess monsters are mean and arrogant. 
the knife in Discord. Yeah, it's super shiny. Very shiny. For now, anyway, until somebody uses it. Perhaps to axe murder, perhaps not, I don't know. Mm, I don't know see where this goes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. The good thing is that these other holes are very small in comparison to the first one. So they should go relatively fast. I do believe. Oh jeez, this is going to be really difficult because it's going to get stuck. It's going to get stuck on the seams because they are thicker seams. And there's also cuffs in one direction. This is going to be a shit show. All right. All right. Let me focus on this for one second. I feel like faster is better, probably. Mm. Yeah, and true. And I've had more practice. Very true. So I definitely know what I'm doing now. And I have the clear cut process. Yeah, once again, not a perfect match, but I don't think anybody's going to notice because it's in the crotch. Crotch is a weird word. Let's go with this. Ah! Alright, so what's what's next? What's next? Respects for actually tying your eyebrows with your hair. Good sense of fashion. Hey, thank you. That's very nice of you to say. Um, it's not dye. It's actually eyeshadow. Actually, eyeshadow. My eyebrows are very sparse because I have like a busted thyroid. Um, but I use eyeshadow to fill them in instead of like an eyebrow pencil. That one. What is today? Five twenty seven. There we go. Yeah, yeah, this is coming along nicely. I'm kind of like bummed that my hair is actually starting to grow out already. It just seems like it does that really fast. Did you know that that quote was your own, or were you just picking a number? Ah! Oh dear. Nope, it got stuck again. We're trying that again. 
Mm -hmm. Ooh, what did this person say? Oh, it's a spam. Bummer. Nailed it. Absolutely. Of course, I was just picking a number. Fantastic. I love that. Uh, yeah, that got all wrapped nested underneath because there are too many threads. That does not want to go in at all. Oh my gosh. Well, don't mind me, it's dropping things. Butterfingers over here. Blimey, blimey, what? Thank you, Prof. In my head, I was thinking like, it's a test. Make sure Prof's still awake, because he's going to be right on that. Let's go here. Okay, let's try this again. Wait, what? Uh, does it go forward? I think it does. Ah, uh, fuck. It does because it's not, the tab is not behind the other tab. Show and let's see. That's wonderful. Fuck it. We'll drop the meat. A likely story. A Dan quote, a rare, but yes. Yeah, we don't get those too much, but we do get those sometimes. Mm, let's do that. Uh. It does not like that thick fabric. What are you doing here? What? Textile maniac. Aw. Yeah, you're welcome. Everyone is welcome here as long as they're not a shipbird. Uh, Cats ate my face. Again, such a fun name. What kind of streams do you normally like to watch? This is why America just needs to get on the same plan as everyone else. Truly, truly. Hey, that looks pretty good. You ready to ch chat? Are you ready to check out the crotch of my short? <laughs> Lol. What repair? What, what, what repair? Where? I don't see it. I don't see it. You see it? That looks really good. Now a PG-13 stream. We've always been at least PG-13. Well, yeah. At least PG-13 and 18 plus for quite some time. You did an excellent job. Are you trying to give me a gold star? Because gold stars are what our channel point currency is. Brownie points. Gold stars. We got those here. This is so satisfying. 
Now watch, the areas that I don't repair are just going to start disintegrating. <laughs> Probably. That's what I assume anyway. Um, I guess we can try this one on the front, which is going to be kind of weird because... Oh, that one's going to be kind of a larger patch again. Do you want somebody to care? <clears throat> Prof, thank you so, so much for making the lighting possible. Thank you. And have a great rest. I hope your weekend is wonderful. And yes, we'll see you Sunday. Wait, 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 what? 47. Oh, yeah. How to crack you and me will settle it once and for all. Flagpole, high noon. <clears throat> Classic. Um, okay, so if we were to do this pocket, then you have to hide the pockets. Because these shorts do, in fact, have actual pockets. A Mario Invincibility Power Up. Oh, okay. Higher than a gold star. Hmm. Gold stars are a bit sarcastic anyway, so fair enough. I'm like the only person who doesn't know Mario shit. So now we need how large of a patch? Like, oh, this is going to be a bitch with this pocket fabric in the way. Two inches, I guess. We could do three inches. We could do three inches. If we wanted to be like, Super overkill. I could do three inches. I think I might do three inches. I want it to be secure AF. Yep. That one's going to be tricky. <sighs> Stuffing things. <clears throat> Uh, let's see how the reel is doing. 22.3k. Do you think it will surpass... <clears throat> do you think it will surpass the yarn video? I don't know. I don't know if it will. But it surprised me that it spread in the first place. So... Somebody asked me how to make eyeliner symmetrical. <laughs> what a funny joke. Do, do, do. Anyway, I was just seeing what the status was with that. Do you think? Well, no, that's fair. Does anybody know? Um, uh, what? Never mind. I think this is a bot. But I don't know. So... How much did the yarn video get? So far, the yarn video on Instagram, it has 23.2 thousand plays. Let's look at the insights. It has 22,956 plays. It has 1,705 likes. 
It has been shared 24 times. It has been saved 39 times. Although the analytics are off a little bit because it actually has 1,707 likes. It like hit a, it hit a streak in India one night and it like popped. <laughs> it was very weird. Very, very weird. I don't know. No, I think this person <clears throat> who followed me and then followed me on, on TikTok, I think they're a bot because at the top of their page, the name, it says the name Chris Taylor but it's user and then a whole long string of numbers for their username. They have one video that has 24 plays, I assume 10 likes. It says that they have 1,322 followers and that they're following 9,919 people. All that from one video? I don't think so. I don't buy it. Okay, let's try and do another one of these. We want a three inch square, yeah. Tricky, tricky. Or, or do I stick to my time and an end? We could start a new patch. Or I could stick to my time, which I've been very bad about since school got out. Choices, choices. <laughs> Still going to measure out the next one. Oh, perfect. It's I have a three inch wide segment. That's really nice. Extremely nice. I love that. Which patch is left? Oh, we've got a few left. We have a few left, but this is going to be one that is on the pocket. It's like upper, it's like higher up on the leg um, and it's over a pocket. I'll show you just a second. Um, okay, so we flip them right side out again. <clears throat> it's this one right here. So it's higher up. It's right on top of a pocket. That will be number three, patch number three out of several. Technically, there's a few that I'm not going to be able to patch, like, <clears throat> like this one, this one, which is like the little coin pocket thing. I'm not going to be able to get that one. Does the one in the pocket go all the way through? Um, what do you mean all the way through? Um, I think so. There's also this one on the back pocket that is kind of large. I think they're kind of about the same size, honestly. Oh, the one in the coin pocket. I can already say that I won't be able to fix one. No, because that pocket is too small. Like, there's no way to, like, lay it flat to sew it. Like, 
it wouldn't work. And it's just on that little pocket. It doesn't go through like it's not back here. So whatever. Let me cut this out. I know I realize like it kind of feels like I'm probably like r completely reconstructing these shorts, but I promise it's not quite like that. I should have done a better job of um like securing the patch fabric like this fabric because if I trim it what is there to keep the fabric from unraveling I should really be using the serger to secure the patch fabric first but oh well ugh Mm. Yes, it was this one. Oh, wait. Yes, yes. No, it's this one. Okay. Uh, all right, cutting out. Chai Town! Hey, hello! Thank you for the bits. Hey, Snow Peep, just notice the blue eyebrows. Now that's going to the next level. Lol. Thank you. I I started doing the blue eyebrows shortly after I got my hair redone. In I think that was in April. Red Devil, welcome in. Let me cut this real fast. Chai Don, what's going on? What are you up to? Is it, like, redundant to ask people what they're up to since they're clearly, like, on Twitch watching me? Because <laughs> I don't think it is, but... You know, sometimes I get weird ideas that are misinformed. Uh, what is your favorite sewing creation? Like, favorite thing I've made? I don't know. I don't think I've made a ton of different things. I like to make useful things. If I, like, yeah, thinking of, like, what I like to make, I like to make useful things. Huh, the iron is still flashing, I don't understand. Um, yeah, I haven't made a ton of different things yet. I do a lot of different crafty type activities, so like, I'm decent at sewing, but I am no expert. And I've made some stuff, but not a lot. Like, I've never made clothing from scratch. I can repair clothing, which obviously, because that's what we're doing. I don't think I have one single favorite. Mm -hmm. No single favorite. Well, that's not the right spot. Okay, now we cut. Twitching. You're gonna watch Dune in about 30 minutes and fall asleep 20 minutes later. Uh, you're so you're one of those. Can't handle your movies, I see. I was thinking, like you said that, and I was thinking, like that's a long movie to be starting this late. Uh. Um, well, I guess my alerts aren't working, but I don't know if you're real. If you're real, feel free to introduce yourself, but Ashley Jizdale. What a name. Thanks for the follow. Is 
the alerts are so inconsistent lately. It's driving me nuts. Probably not real. This is a simulation. Fair enough. Thank you for that. I assume it probably is real unless it's like... Ah! <sighs> Almost cut my finger off with these shears. Holy shit. Take these far, far away from me. Oh my god. Holy shit. These are the scissors. I had them... Like this. And it broke skin a little bit. I don't know if it, it's not gonna, it's not gonna focus. It's not gonna focus. It broke skin a little bit. Fuck's sake. I was more worried about th like this side of my finger. It got the cuticle side, but it's more like a paper cut. What the fuck is my problem? Once again, Ashley Chisdale, very happy to have you. A super original name. I'm sure it's quite the conversation topic. I know, high score. I know, like, not like this. I'm not a clumsy person. Like, why lately? Why am I like this lately? And it's always the same thing. It's always like right here in front of me. I look at something. Oh, I put them away, Cypher. I put them away. I put the cover on. They are hanging up. No, I can't. I cannot be messing with those anymore tonight. Jesus. The last thing I need. I will cut. Um, I will use the tiny scissors. Those are less likely to hurt me. And they're not even, like, ultra-sharp ones. They're just the scissors that came with my sewing machine. Cannot take me anywhere. Good God. But yeah, I should really run these through the overlocker. Those are sharp. Yeah, they are fabric shears. And they have only ever been used on fabric. Not even that much. Yeah, they are sharp as fuck. Earlier in your sinuses have been acting up, it makes you clumsy. I don't even know if I have sinuses. Um, I've had, like, I've developed seasonal allergies, I guess, as an adult. I feel like I should get a Band-Aid, but also, I don't want to. It'll, it'll clot. <laughs> God damn. I'm not a clumsy person. I'm really not. Trimming this down because it is too, it's bigger than the square that it's for. Okay, maybe I'll go get a band-aid just because it's still going. I cannot believe myself. Funga dude, hello. What are we sewing? We are still working on mending the shorts that I was working on last week. We have moved on to, there's like several different little holes on these shorts. So we've moved on to a different one. And I almost cut, I just now almost cut my fingers off with the fabric shears like an idiot. What are you up to? Working? Mm, let's see how this looks. That looks better. I think I should press it and then I should press it and then um, clean up the edges. I'm going to grab a band-aid. <laughs> Because it's trying to ooze a bit. Mm. Let's see. So, 
those are fing fingertip band-aids. That's not what I want. Hello. Hello. Oh, that's too much. Okay. Put some Neosporin on there, but I put on too much. Okay. Yeah, he did a drive by to feed the cat. Oh, you had the day off. Congrats. I have to run. Gosh, station stopped running. That sucks. Guys, he didn't eat it all today. That might be right. Running was hard. Yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Eating is important, and I am actually the worst at it. I'm terrible at it. Hmm. I want to secure this a bit before I sew it on so I can like, you know, make things better going forward. But that might require me to change presser feet. Are you trying to not work late doing construction work? It's a good rule. Start the job with 10 digits, expect to go home with the same amount and linked. That's very smart. That's very smart. I'm not a clumsy person. Like, I don't get clumsy usually. I don't, I don't understand. Okay, sit still. Using some stitch witchery to um, fuse these together. I don't know. I might not stay on that much longer. I am tired. And I, I've, I was thinking that I do want to get better about sticking to my time. Not yet, but like I was thinking about it. And I don't know if Dan's going to bed soon because that will also, that will also influence it. Eating is important. Yeah, yeah. I'm just so bad at it because I don't like. I don't get like hunger signals because like medications have ruined them. So that's great, right? I need to iron these on or iron them together rather. Okay, so one. Two and three. And we will pop. No, 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 stay. No, oh, jeez, no, oh, jeez. Um, thank you for following whoever that was. Cool kid, the best. Um, Hi, hello. That's a great name. Thank you so much for following. Welcome in. Can I ask a question? Sure. I pay so the machine is at work. What do you mean? I was very, oh, very blase. Oh dear, be careful. So we did on the other shift. And his thumb goes through the roller and the skin. Ugh. Yeah, workplace injuries are very serious. Be careful and be present. Truth or dare is not a question. You can't come into my channel and just ask me truth or dare things. Like, just ask the question you want to ask. Oh, so I think it goes on like pause mode. Like it made that sound, it beeped at me. 
and then it it beeped at me and then it like just kept flashing and it's still flashing but as soon as I turned it horizontally the light came on and I feel like it's heating up that's really interesting what a smart iron is this a sleepover yeah yeah wait I'm now way more aware about baggy clothes or loose bits of fabric I don't get sucked in uh-huh uh-huh I dare you to tell the truth fine dare to tell the truth is accepted let's be friends I love that welcome thank you for the follow thank you so much feel free to say hey or introduce yourself if you like hi basil do you want to eat your food this cat this fucking cat I wish it would heat up a little bit faster. Just a little bit faster would be nice. Do 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 do. Basil, what are you doing? Yeah, that's probably fused, but just want to be on the safe side. Yeah, I wanted a full-size ironing board at one point, and now I'm glad I don't have one. I have this little table over here, and it's really useful. It can hold the it can hold the little ironing board. It can hold my sewing machine if I'm doing embroidery, like. It meets my needs. It's all I got. It's all, it's all I need right now. I want this to be a bit more dry, so I'm gonna wait on that for a second. Watch it just completely burn. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Ow. It's warm. Surprise, surprise. That's really cool that it like pauses and turns down the heat. Oh, Dad got his finger hot on your machine at General Motors. Oh, a few stitches, but he said later the finger never felt the same. Uh huh, especially if it's like nerve damage. Don't play with your, don't play with your. Uh, don't, I was going to say, don't play with your appendages. <laughs> and then I caught myself. Hello, uh, Tayona16, welcome. Yes, we are mending some denim shorts. There was a big hole on the leg here. And now it's like, what hole? Because I've patched it completely. Yeah, that's what the inside looks like. But on the other side, you'd never know it was damaged. <clears throat> so yeah, we are patching and fixing things. Thank you. I'm pretty, pretty pleased with it. Yeah, pretty pleased. So now, I think I want to be, I'm going to fuse. No, I'm not. I'm gonna, I don't want to get my serger out because it's a whole thing, but I am going to switch presser feet and like go around the edges of this to clean it up and end it. Uh, what do you have on the mannequin in the background? Um, a cover, just a cover. I don't have anything on there. I, I've never made clothing like from scratch. I've only mended and modified clothing. But I bought that dress for me. It's like a, it's a very vintage one. I bought that because it was like the craziest right place, right time thing I've ever had happen. I happened to be driving by our local Habitat for Humanity Restore. This was several years ago now. Happened to be driving by on my way home from work one day and I 
glanced in the window as I drive by and I saw it standing there and I was like, oh shit, pulled in. Cause I was like, I gotta, I hope they have a decent price on it. And they only wanted $20 for it. So I was like, shut up and take my money. And I brought it home. 21 DS, hi. Welcome, welcome. Very nice to see you. 18th birthday. Oh, that's awesome. I feel old now. I don't know. Um, how old? I don't know how old you are. Oh, uh, let's go put this message into Google Translate. <clears throat> Let's go. Copy. Translate.google. Hi, do you speak Russian? No, I do not speak Russian. Sorry. You're not your 11th year high school reunion. I'm older than you are, so, yep. <laughs> huh? COVID, so not tenure. Oh, they skipped that one. I see, I see. Honestly, I feel like class reunions don't really serve a purpose anymore. Yet. Look young, yum, I can thank chronic illnesses for that. So, you know, trade-offs. Uh, Mr. Virus, unfortunately, I do not speak Russian. Twenty-one, uh, private, private, what are you talking about? Too little English, that's okay. I don't, I don't limit, I don't limit languages in my chat like some streamers do. I am most at home in an international community, so I don't mind. That said, I don't really want to run back and forth for Google Translate every minute, so you can try your English and we are happy to work with you. I speak redneck and more fluently. Oh, that's hello in Russian. Ah, okay, okay. See, we're a, we're a global community here. We're very international and we're all nice and we try and get along. You speak Japanese like fluently or just a little or what? Um, how do I want to do this? Okay, cancel that stitch. Um, let me... Oh, semi-fluent. Hey, that's pretty good. I took, I took a little Japanese, but I didn't really get enough to, of it to really stick. But whatever. What machine do you have? I have a Baby Lock Accord. More or less pissing matches on who's in what with their lives. Um, I mean, I guess, but like with social media and Facebook, like what's the point? Because you can see those people you went to school with and what they're doing with their life. And it's like, oh good, you all stayed stayed home and some of us got out. You have issues responding, fair enough, that's understandable. One class and taught yourself, that's pretty good then to be like semi-fluent even from that. No. Uh, let's see. No, no, it's okay. Mr. Virus, you're welcome to stay. No bother. It's not a bother. <clears throat> I don't know if somebody wants to try and Google Translate and say that you're welcome to stay, but... I need to know about the different stitches. Because I know my sewing machine can do like an overlock stitch. Patchwork, double overlock, decorative stitching. Two, no, eight, okay. 
right is it the j foot all right let's get that hi basil i'm sorry you cannot come up in japanese was how to say hello mustard why mustard that's kind of strange i'm also curious what people have been doing because they don't facebook stock fair enough doing it at a winery oh that is a good excuse to ask off for work and to go to a winery plus if you have an if it sucks you can just have more wine and then it will be fine that's i'll i'll allow it i'll allow it military and i guess it was something funny to tell kids all right that makes sense <laughs> hello you are my friend in japanese when you have students stay for a while so you learn that sentence without him realizing oh that's nice family tea which you'll do the next day that works then no don't do that I'm gonna let that go then lift it up that is 208 Alright. I know, getting fancy, fixing, doing some overlocking. Mm, let's test it and see how it looks. Hmm? A friend who doesn't speak English very well went to Japan and a cafe was training. Do you have free Wi Fi? Do you have Wi Fi? <laughs> That's wonderful. Horrible reunion without food. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. My, I think it was 10-year reunion several years ago. They were having it, like, at the college in this tiny town where I went to high school. And I am allergic to wheat. So I asked them, like, do you have, you know, dietary options? Do you have gluten-free options for what you're serving? Oh, they were having Italian food catered by a local Italian place. The food was very good. I remember that from back when I could eat that stuff. But I asked them, like, do you have, you know, gluten-free options for people with dietary restrictions? And they were like, no. <laughs> I'm like, wow, typical tiny Midwestern town. Fuck that. And I didn't go. And the people who I actually would be interested in seeing, they also were not going. Coincidentally, we're all the people, say, all the people I'd be interested in seeing are also all people who left town so we're on sign and once again fill with the desire to learn german yeah join christian with that dream eaters welcome nice to see you look 23 well thank you froggy frog hello you have to let your inner teenager free do it do it do it cinnamon that's an interesting one how does this one work? Applique stitching, patchwork stitching, piecing. Free motion quilting, no. Hmm, well, I don't know. Scallop stitching, smocking. I'm just um, like making sure I use these presser feet correctly, but I can't tell, so I'm just gonna try it and hope I don't fuck it up. Oh, that's cute. That's a cute stitch. I don't know if you can see it. It's dark, but it's cute. Uh, long double underscore nose. Um, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. You're going to the movies on your own. Hey, good for you. Please wear an N95 mask. Um, but good for you. It's. I think it should be normalized to go to the movies by yourself or to eat at a restaurant alone. Same bar as a 10. Yikes. It's a bar instead. 
still alcohol, at least there's that. It can be nice. Uh, Tadashi... I don't know how to say the second part. Hello, welcome. Is Mr. Rogers entitled on the frequency and patching sewing interested? <laughs> sure, no worries. Thank you for hanging out. I'm a very big Mr. Rogers fan. We do a lot of different crafting and other stuff here. We do a wide variety of things. Um, yeah, we're repairing some holes in some denim shorts. I think we'll try to It's not going to be perfect, but at least it's going to be a secured edge. Mm, Apparently a craft beer near it. Hey, that works. 10.50 a.m. for Harry Potter. Which Harry Potter movie? Why are you scared to go alone? It's a nice experience. I've gone to the movies alone. A long time ago, but I went. That's, that's too fast. Oh dear. I need to back that up. <laughs> promotion. I should look at this as promotion advertise my new upcoming novel at my reunion. I don't know. Do you care what they think? I'm gonna do it. The Dumbledore thing. Is that... Yeah, which which movie? I don't know. I don't know about any new Harry Potter movie. But I like Harry Potter stuff. Although, fuck J.K. Rowling. She's a piece of shit. But the stories are good. But just, like, pirate that stuff. Don't give her money. See? It's beeping again. Mm, we're gonna have to go back again. That's what I get for using stitches I've never used and I don't know if they backstitch. Deep fried finger. You should have been here when I just almost cut my finger off. Hello. Be nice if they bought it. Or about the one that's already published. Well, maybe if you tell them about it, they will. The title brought me here. It has brought several people in tonight. Apparently, apparently I picked a good title. Welcome. I like to think that I'm a little bit like Mr. Rogers, but I could be completely mistaken. I don't know. I don't know that that's for me to decide. Really watching the movie, not the people in the theater. Yes. Yeah, people watching is often more exciting. You're welcome, Tayana. Have a good evening. Um, if you've enjoyed your time here, feel free to drop a follow so you'll know when I'm on next. I do stream Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday evenings um, starting at like 8 p.m. Central Time. Are you sewing Minnie Mouse's skirt or something? Uh, people like boobs. Not, that could be it. That could be. That could be. Honestly, I was just shocked that it let me type boobs. Shocked. Because... It seems like they don't allow, like, anything like, any words like that. I am not sewing Minnie Mouse's skirt. 
I am actually repairing some holes in some denim shorts. Um, like here. This is some darned denim. That's the outside. This is the inside of that leg you just saw. So we're kind of reweaving denim, sort of. Kinda, sorta. Oh, you already follow. I'm sorry. Sometimes I forget, and on on the iPad I can't click and look. And a lot of times I click and I look so I don't make it. I don't put my foot in my mouth. But that is, you know, yet another fault of the mobile app. My bad. Um, okay, so we got this. Yeah, I am banned from the fabric shears after that ish, that very bad thing I did. I am going to trim down this patch now that I have secured the edges. Have a good night. I always feel like such a jerk when that happens, and it happens not irregularly. Dicker titted. Big boobs. Hmm. They really are musical geniuses, these guys. Yeah, they do good. They do all right. All I know is, like, the one Rammstein song that was, like, on everything. Or at least it was on the mixed CD that one of my boyfriends in high school made for me. Which was actually a really good mix, and then I think it got scratched. And I was very sad. However, I realized that now that's not a problem, because if I really wanted to, I think, I think I still have the CD... I could go and just make it a playlist on Spotify. Which, now that I'm thinking about it, I kind of want to do that because it would have some really good early 2000s music on it. Yeah, duh. -ha. The live shows are amazing, I bet. What a romantic. It was like, it wasn't supposed to be a, an especially romantic mix. It was just like good songs that he likes, I guess. It also had the song that his rap group had made. There was this group of dudes who were all like from different West African countries and they made music and it was decent. At least we all thought so at the time. And I, I dated like two out of the five members. You've never seen, yeah. Oh, you were into live music when they came to New Zealand. But, well, you know. Mm-hmm. Yes, we do know. Unfortunately. Okay, so now I need to fuse this patch in place. So that's going to be two longer pieces and two shorter pieces of stitch with tree. And then another longer piece. Yeah, no, go that way. Stay. It's on a roll, so like, if I'm not careful, it will just roll all the way the fuck away. all away. It definitely like does what it wants. <laughs> oh yeah it's good uh-huh for, for sure and title is interesting mr rogers showed up on my recommendations well what kind of streams do you normally like to watch i feel like i've been showing up on recommended a lot more lately and i don't know why i have no idea why but i'm really happy about it okay i get a Gotta iron this, so let me step over to that station. 
Do you ever get that thing where like one side of your nose will run but not the other side? Because that's what I'm having right now and it is bullshit. It is like the dumbest thing. Mm, I need something heavy ish. I don't know if that's gonna work. Hmm. That's gonna fall. Oh, a candle. That'll work. I just need to hold this thing in place. Okay, so let's take a look. Let's see, let's see. That's going that way. Then let's put these two like this. And these other two. Oh god, this is gonna be a shit show. It's one of those times where I really wish I had extra hands, you know? And then here, that one, and one more, please stay put. Oh god, okay, I will just do three, because these do not want to stay put at all. That's the thing about the stitch witchery. It kind of does what it wants at a certain point. You can put it in place, but it might laugh at you. And then do its own thing anyway. Like, it's pro that's probably what's going to happen. Okay. No! Fuck, why did I move that? Why? Why did I move that? Oh, right, because I need to iron it. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, let's reposition. There's that. Alright. And then we gotta let the iron, like reheat a little bit which it does fairly quickly but it could be faster eclectic really eclectic is a really good word for yeah yes you're abusing the algorithm but don't know how yeah i don't have a fucking clue i wish i did i'm recommending you hi brown town um, you could recommend me by hosting me. If anyone wants to host, that boosts the signal of the stream a bit and brings new friends in. And if you're not sure how, especially if you don't stream, you can still host. And if you're not sure how, type exclamation host and Johnny will show you the way. He's just so helpful that like that, you know? ironing but I don't I don't know if it's fusing yet because it doesn't do the steam like the hissing steam because I guess it's not hot enough yet or something definitely or something <clears throat> I do now wish that I had stitched the edges of all of these patches because it looks way better and a lot more like finished i might even stitch the patch to the jeans just to make it extra secure <clears throat> I think hopefully that is good. It's also like using the tip of the iron so it's not 
I don't know. I feel like it doesn't get as hot, but that might not have any bearing. And I also, like, I don't know, this is like the second time I've used this iron, the first time I've really used it. So, like, I probably haven't let it get to its full heat, you know? Okay. All right. All right. All right. Fancy seeing you around here. Yeah, a little bit, right? Okay. I stood up, and now I have to pee, so. Um. I'm gonna run to the restroom. You're welcome to do that too. If you need to, get a drink, get a snack, do what you gotta do. And I will be right back in just a couple of minutes. Don't leave. Don't leave. I am coming right back. Okay, I am back. There's a hair. Uh, sneakers, hi. New here, may ask about the snail emotes. Yeah, no backstory. I just found them and thought they were really adorable. And then it turned out they were ridiculously appropriate because I am the slowest ever at <clears throat> pretty much everything. So it really works out. Where the fun has come from? Um, nope, nothing to analyze. Um, I just think, I think the aesthetic of snails are cute. Real snails look cool, but I wouldn't really want to touch them. Probably. And like, I wouldn't want them in my garden. <laughs> Mm 
Yeah, there's really nothing to read into, I promise. Okay, so now we just need a straight stitch. Uh, sure, let's go with that one. Mm, stitching this into place is kind of gonna suck. Has anyone said you have a cool BRB screen? I don't know if anyone said it was cool, but some people have said it was cute. My BRB screen matches my starting soon screen and my ending screen. And I've never changed them. I've had those since the beginning. I kind I really want to have a BRB screen that plays clips. But I don't know how to make that because it'd be really cool if it was one that just plays clips at random and instead of like me having to make a video. Yes. Hi, Cheeseburger. Welcome. There are, um, yeah, several Huckleberry fans in the house. It's just the nice lady club has such a great community. We're all night owls, so you know, it kind of makes sense. Okay, let me try and stitch this onto here. Gonna be a mess. Touching them snails. Yeah, I don't think I would do that just because I want to. Like, would not be my first, second, third, or several other numbers twists. You fell asleep before the stream ended last night. What did you end up doing with those bananas? Oh, nurse, I. I don't know, because I left at 2 a.m. And I missed some of it. It is barked. Okay. It is all connected. That is true. Um, yeah, it's so not fetch. I did not make that one. Bigby made that. Take it up with him. Okay, let me try this. Just don't have a good feeling about it. Hmm? Oh yeah, they were plantains, not bananas. What did, they end up, what did she end up doing with them? Some people dared others to lick them. Ew, and ended up in the hospital. Um, well, yeah, that's dumb. That's just, like, it, it, it's clearly ignorant, but, like, nah, don't do stuff like that. I do have a TikTok. Please follow me there if you like TikTok videos. I'm also on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, all the socials. Please follow me on them. I do post regularly, and I post different things on each one, and we are trying to build up my social followings. I think the banana went into the beet soup. What the fuck? Yeah, she did put frozen bananas from the freezer because she made pina coladas. Whether, whether anyone got caught in the rain, I cannot say, but I doubt it. Different Twitch communities are makes me feel all warm inside. Or was that just the curry powder I put on my chicken? It is nice to have different communities. Um... Yeah, it is nice. Like, when I came to Twitch, I came to Twitch to stream. I didn't ever watch Twitch beforehand. Um, so, like, I did not have friends ahead of time. So, I literally started from zero and didn't have any communities to, like, like a lot of people, they have friends and they're like, I'm going to start streaming so their friends come and support them. I didn't have that. So it was, it's been a lot harder for me than it is for many others. Ah, uh, Fungadu, thanks for gifting sneakers a sub. That's so nice of you. Thank you. I think I might change the, like, 
most recent sub thing at the top. I think I might change it to like something to do with whoever has gifted sub. I think I might do that. Because I want to appreciate those people who help the channel grow. Help the garden grow. There are the social links. Click them all for best results, please, and thank you. At first, I thought you said sneaks, and I was like, aw, pet names, so cute. Sneaks, sneakies. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh, this is a situation. I did not do all of this, like, securing of the patches for the other two, but I kind of wish I had. And it's not, like, it's not too late, I could still do it, but I can't really overlock them. But I think it would be a good idea to secure them. Mm, this is very tricky. Denim doesn't stretch so much. Thumbtack pin question mark? What what are you asking? Okay, there we go. That looks really nice. And then on the front, you really can't even tell. <clears throat> Loving it. Not like McDonald's though, because ew. Yes, that looks really nice. Pin to secure. Um, no, I don't need to. I used stitch witchery, so it's like been fused by heat. So, no, I don't need to pin it. I'm using pins to fold the pockets out of place, though. Okay, so now... Ouch. So now we have uh, the patch in place. Uh, sorry, I'm not good at that. So now we will darn over it. And this one... I don't know. I kind of think it would look cute to actually, like, leave the patch exposed, but... We'll see. Mixed hair powder, no flatmate made. Huh. Most of them weren't very hot. Oh boy, I used too much. Too much curry is definitely not a good thing. I have experienced that. There's this dish we make that has curry powder in it. And sometimes, like, okay, can we all agree that a good cook tastes the food as they're cooking it, right? To make sure it's correct. So a good cook tastes tastes the food as it goes. Dan, Dan usually does not taste the food as he's cooking it, and I just really wish he would. Ramiro Brizuela, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. How did you decide how many A's to put on your name? All these frayed little threads here. Ugh. I feel like my microphone is probably gonna die soon. Not quite yet, but soon maybe. Hi. Hi, welcome. Variable. I mean, you don't taste cook food, you cook by vibes. What the, what do you mean you cook by vibes? How does that work? 
how do you decide when there is enough seasoning in something? I don't taste it until it's on the plate in front of me, unless it's a stew or something like that. Something that you made, you don't taste it as you're making it? I feel like maybe that's just like a dude thing. Help, need X chromosomes to confer. Or rather, need more X chromosomes to confer. I'm assuming maybe Cypher went to bed. But yeah, he ends up sometimes putting in way too much curry powder. Or when we make like chicken tikka masala, he will put, sometimes he puts way too much garam masala. And that stuff gets like kind of, too much of that can make a dish just downright inedible. Experimental cooking with something together. Right, that, that is a thing, but that's not what we're talking about. I hate tasting food from the pot. Why? If you're making your own food, why do you hate tasting it from the pot? If someone else asks you to taste something, that's fair. I am still curious about the why. Speaking of curry, so we are wa now we are watching the series of the Great British Bake Off series um, from 2021. The first one they did during pandemic where they had to like have everyone in a bubble. We're watching that one and we got to the dreaded Japanese week episode. We got like... We didn't even get through the first challenge. We didn't even get through the first like showcase because, or the first signature. We didn't even get through the first signature because it was so awful and we just skipped that episode. As soon as like, somebody was like, I'm making for Japanese week, first of all, white people, what the fuck? Why is some white man telling people if their Japanese food is authentic enough or done correctly? Excuse me. Um, but also, they like conflated all of these different Asian foods together and said it was all Japanese. What the fuck? And in the first like signature challenge, as soon as somebody was like, yeah, I'm making some, I'm making. I think they said samosas and they were talking about like dal and these Indian flavors like excuse me there are Dan said apparently there are Japanese samosas but no they don't involve Indian flavors because it's not India and that was when we skipped that episode <sighs> yuck just a quirk they can get away by smell most of the time. Oh, see, maybe that's why I have to taste them because my sense of smell is horrible. It has always been terrible. There's some things I can smell very easily, but a lot of the times, like, my sense of smell is just dull as fuck. It has always, always been like that. So maybe that does play a part. I don't know. <laughs> okay, I think those are good. These I should just snip because they are stretched. Soup impromptu super cook app. What? Using the uh, along those, I don't understand what you're trying to say. Using the ingredients you have on hand, okay, but for what? What are you talking about? Uh, 
I um, miss context a lot. Like, I get confused with what we, people are talking about a lot unless there is clear context, so. It's nothing personal if I ask people to elaborate. Definitely all me. Okay, okay. I think that's good. Yes. Okay. Yes. Keep saying that and then finding others I can snip. Mm, we were talking about tasting while cooking. Yes, yes, we were. vegan villain that's fun welcome thank you so much for the follow here feel free to say hey or introduce yourself how'd you find the stream okay back to the darning foot i guess actually no i'm gonna stitch around a hole to stabilize it or whatever. I'm like going all out for these smaller ones for some reason. Oh dear, I don't know if I can. Ugh. Maybe, maybe. Not gonna be pretty, but I can do it. Vegan, vegan villain. That is very interesting. I would love to know the backstory about that. Hi, Pizza. Welcome back. Do you have a favorite sitcom? No. Like, one out of all of the possibilities? Not really. I also don't do great when being put on the spot, so it's hard to say. Discovery page. Interesting. I would check it out. Well, I'm glad you're here. I'm not the best at sewing, but I do all right. We're currently um, darning a pair of denim shorts that someone originally purchased with the distressed look, which I'm not a fan of, because that distressed look becomes outright holes in your pants. So now I am patching and mending those holes and kind of reweaving the denim. Balloon Dan! Hi, hi, hi! So nice to see you. A natural distress look. I mean, same. Very much same. It's like a panic deer in the headlights look. Yeah. Yeah, I got that. Got that one down. I've decided to respond to you. What's your favorite with? I can tell you when I like, but I don't do superlatives. I like that. I should. I should borrow that. If I can remember it. No, you don't. Um, I do sometimes. When I'm medicated, I don't. But if I forget my anxiety pills, well, that's different. Let's do... Yeah, let's leave that. Uh, no, no, we will go one more. How is... Uh, Dan, how is your storytelling class going? Or is that already over? I was so interested to hear more about that. I could desperately use something of that nature. Because I got a lot of stories, but I am terrible at telling stories. Just your gamer tag. I'm vegan. Not really villain, but it sounded fun. It is. It is a very good name. Jomzy, hey, are we drawing Lady Mister Rogers for money again? 
What do you mean again? I've never drawn that. And no, no. It started out, okay, so I am terrible at coming up with stream titles. Once in a while I nail it unintentionally, but I'm not good at it. And I just kind of pick something on the fly an hour or so before stream. Um, so tonight, that's what I came up with out of thin air. And in my mind, I was kind of thinking that, like, sometimes I feel like maybe I'm a little bit like Mr. Rogers. Maybe I'm delusional. I don't know. Um, so then I was like, what if, well, first, okay, first it was if Mr. Rogers was a woman. And then I was like, no, that's not it. And then it came to me and it was like, if Mr. Rogers had boobs. I don't know. I don't know where I was going with it, but it has, it has, um, brought on a lot of comments. Regretting agreeing to work tomorrow on day off. No, that's not enough rest whatsoever. Homework avoidance and anxiety took over after the first one. I didn't go to the rest. Oh, no. That's how my most adult class things always go. Why is that? You do wear blue every day. I mean, wait, what? Are you talking about, like, because I have blue hair? But also, I usually am wearing jeans or denim of some sort, so it can't really be helped. <clears throat> what kind of homework did they give you? Okay, so let's go back to the darning foot. I was really looking forward to, um, to glean some storytelling tricks from you. Brainstorming what kind of story I wanted to work on throughout the class. Oh, those are hard. How many sessions was the class going for? Because my, um, I, I took that class that was like writing to get the job and it was like how to refine like resume and cover letters and all that stuff. And I'm glad I took it. But in the beginning, it was really hard because they were like, think of these stories when you totally failed or when you did something good or whatever. And I was like, I don't have a fucking clue. And then they wanted us to like build on those stories and use them for other exercises going forward. But for me, like, I just, it's nearly impossible for me when I don't know how it's going to be used later. Like, I need the whole picture. And I hate it because, like, the not giving the whole picture, the thing of not giving the big picture, but only giving, like, snippets with no context, that is some absolute neurotypical bullshit. And I hate it so much. Oh yeah, if you have the recordings, download them, get that knowledge, and then maybe share it. Or like, maybe do well, do download the recordings, even, you know, screen record. Um, and then like, maybe, maybe put them on a, a Google Drive and maybe give people links to them. <laughs> or not, I don't know. Mr. Rogers had boobs and he would wear, would he wear sweaters? Um, somebody said that those cardigans would have worked a lot better or something if he had boobs. Um, I do wear cardigans a lot when it's cold. Six. Oh, that's not so bad. Dixie de la Tour. Is that a real name? Each body storytelling show and they're amazing. Is this a whole thing? I don't know what this is. One song from an EP and call it neurotypical bullshit. Okay. Maybe this is an unpopular take and John Z was not at you. This is just an in general thought that I have. Like, maybe it's an unpopular take, but I'm super, super over it. I'm super, super over the whole, like, that sounds like a band name thing that a lot of people make as a comment. Just in general, like, I'm super over it. Because, <laughs> no, not everything could be a band name. 
And I just needed to get that off my chest. It's a stage name. Oh, what kind of performer are they? All right, so now I'm ready to do the darning. The do the darn thing. I don't know. It's like one of those things that like it it's been bugging me for a while, but I don't feel like I'm allowed to say anything about it, you know? Do you have anything like that? <clears throat> Who's in the north is some prime neurodivergent gold. Um why? I don't think it has anything to do with um I don't think it has anything to do with someone's wiring. I mean, I guarantee that the people who made each of those, like, no, I don't, I respectfully disagree. But I appreciate that you appreciate them. Okay, so we need more links on that. Let's see how this one goes. Wow, that went almost off of the fabric. Ooh. Almost is the keyword there. I'm just like testing the length of these because they are not long enough to cover this. <laughs> oh, you said the koozie on the nos. Oh no, the person who came up with that koozie is definitely um, neurotypical. I don't think it has anything, yeah, I don't think it has anything to do with that. It's more like just, you know, being a good person. Like, you can still be an asshole, but you can also be a good person while also being an asshole, you know? Curates and MCs the shows, and they're like the moth a storytelling show format where people tell real stories from their own real lives. Hm. Uh, I'm not familiar with either of those things. I guess, like, what are the shows? I don't know. I don't know if I'm asking the right questions because I'm confused. I really like just full throttle going. And I don't know why, like, I'm sure this is my anxiety, but like, I feel very anxious about like, disagreeing with people on Twitch. Like, like, vegan villain saying that and me saying I respectfully disagree like I can't stop thinking about that and I'm like oh god they hate me now they're gonna leave oh god oh god because that's my fucking brain and yet I'm not a people pleaser I've never been a people pleaser but always with my fucking brain well not always like I wasn't always like this I really wasn't I don't know what happened, but... Each show is an in-person auditorium. Six performers get up and tell a 15-minute story from memory. 15 minutes that's a long time for something from memory and on stage like that that's a long time wow i feel like it's actually autumn they were still damp oh dear 
every year. Uh-huh, they just keep on coming and changing everything. They do, and as climate change continues, the seasons will get muddier and muddier. And by that, I mean you will experience more seasons in the course of a week. Or at least that's how it is here. I guess it would depend on your threshold for what's considered like um, Who drink energy drinks in general are a little bit different. Everybody drinks energy drinks though, like tons of people do. I don't think it has anything to do with neurotype. Yes, the koozie just shows the people, shows somebody who cares, yes. Yes, I didn't take it in a good versus bad way for sure. Uh, and there's everyday people. That makes sense. That makes sense. Hmm. Yeah, I would just love to be able to be an engaging storyteller. Because I know, like, I've lived a weird life. I, I have a weird life. I have lived a weird life. And I would love to be able to tell st stories about it and have them be, you know, more interesting and people want to listen to them. And that gonna go okay yes we will go horizontal first this is gonna be very tricky with the themes in a way and all of that stuff you find another class i won't have that ability to i believe in you you can do it maybe you just have to Make sure to take that kind of class when you have the ability, when your, your plate is clear enough that it's something that you can dedicate the time to that you want to, you know? <laughs> You're not the communicator? What? Not through writing? Only if I was asked you. That's fair. And yeah, my anxiety is only a reflection on me, not on anyone else. And drink energy drinks. But what about energy drinks makes me different? Exactly. That's my thought. Nothing. It doesn't make you different at all. Have been fun. Well, sure. But in general, like, I would love to be able to be more, like, charismatic about it and more engaging. I'm glad that you think so, Jomzi. Thank you. But I, I do not consider myself an engaging person whatsoever, considering all the times that people tell me they come hang out in my stream and they fall the fuck asleep. I lo I don't like that. I do not want that. Like, cool, I'm glad you're, in I'm glad people enjoy their time here, but like, that is not what I want to be known for. You know? Like, thanks, but dear God, no thank you. <laughs> I don't know. I do know. I know that that's not what I want to be known for. Anyway. Caffeine. Yeah, for me, it's not the caffeine. It's just that Nas tastes good. I like it. The only energy drink I will tolerate, the caffeine doesn't do anything for me. Super hard to say what I mean here. Doing this, no worries. You're fine. You're fine. From the five commercials, I hate asking to repeat. I'm sorry. If you show up earlier, you might get gifted a sub, but I can't ever guarantee that. lullaby channel come for the blue hair stay for the snooze fest basically basically like that's what it feels like i hate it i don't i do not want that like i'm glad that people are comfortable here that is what i want i want people to be comfortable here 
and sure be relaxed that's also great i want that too but like i didn't come here to make people fall the fuck asleep Ew. that's a split end I right, see them and snip them. I think, I think, vegan, I think you might be right on misuse of that term. That's okay. That's okay. I also, I will admit, I'm a little bit touchy about people's use of the terms like neurodivergent and people saying ADHD because ADHD is a huge, huge, huge fucking buzzword these days and it kind of makes me an annoyed mad I don't know because like people will apply they'll say like they do literally anything and that must make them ADHD make that must mean they have ADHD and it's like no that's literally not how it works and so it makes me mad because it makes it even harder for like people who actually have these things and like it makes it also harder for autistic people because like it it just discredits a lot of other things and I can't I don't even have the words to fully explain all my feelings on it but like okay for example there is this lady on Instagram and TikTok and she is an influencer with like millions of followers and the reason she's so popular is because she just like talks about how awkward she is and weird shit that she does. And I, I want to like her, but it also drives me nuts and I can barely tolerate it because like this woman is fucking autistic. She is autistic and she has no idea because, you know, so many adults don't know because they thought for so long that that could only occur in children. So, like, this person, she has no idea, and so she just credits herself as ADHD. And so, by doing that, that discredits us. Does that make any sense? Anyway, it makes me, it, it drives me nuts. But anyway, moving on. Engaging and relaxing can absolutely coexist, case in point. People who turn into a bedtime story show interact for a while and then actually zone out. Right, but if your point, if your purpose is bedtime stories, then that, I, that makes it more okay. Has an increase in IQ. What? Um, yeah, the energy drink explanation. Don't worry about it. There's some bug on my wall. I don't know what it is. It went behind the pegboard. Oh, dear. It was kind of like a large black ant, but also like, um, sort of like a lightning bug. I assume it's not like a queen ant, but I don't fucking know. I'm just gonna, um, uh, watch it and walk that way. And, um, try to forget about it. It does, it, it, I don't know why. Yes. So the only time you ever fall asleep and watching something is back to being drank a lot or heavily stoned. You have such a hard time falling asleep. Sitting and watching something to fall asleep is so weird. Yes, I need darkness, silence, earplugs, and eye mask. Yes, you're, I'm with you, Fonga dude. I need darkness. Um, I do like an eye mask. I also like like the pressure of an eye mask on my face. So sometimes I'll wear it kind of tight. I don't use an eye mask all the time, but I do sometimes. Um, and we have like a noise machine in our bedroom, so it plays like ocean sounds, which is nice. Um, yeah, I don't understand people falling asleep with the TV on and stuff. I don't get it. Yeah, everything, everything is cool. Um, and for new friends, I will say like, I don't limit conversation in my stream. I don't have any topics that are off limits. Sometimes I do say, like, we're going to stick to lighter topics because, you know what, the world is too much, too, it's too fucking much. Um, and so sometimes I do say that. And, of course, like, if anyone says, like, that something makes them uncomfortable, we move on. But there's nothing off limits. A lot of streamers do limit topics, and I don't do that because that's shitty. I don't like censorship and... 
there's a lot of reasons, but anyway. Eye mask with a flat, wait, what? Huh, an eye mask with flat Bluetooth speaker sewn into the sides. What the hell? Do you have a link to that? I'd love to see what that looks like. Oh yeah, CPAP, I'm sure that is a game changer. And that has like automatic white noise built in with that. Only for one year, then a total of so many MRs and diagnosis. Yeah, it is frustrating. And um, not that anyone has said anything, no one has said anything, but like being autistic, it's not a pathology, it's not a disease. It's literally just like being left or right handed. It's just that your brain is wired. Um, just feel the need to say that because. Because the eugenics is real. Oh dear, we are stuck. We're fucking stuck. Damn it. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. Mm, let me see what happened. Sometimes there's long cords underneath. Christian, good night. Yeah, you have to get up. Good night, friend. Enjoy your time with your sister tomorrow. Not stuck. No, no. It, it sorted itself. When it ties off, there's these long threads. They're like an inch or two. And I think sometimes they get caught up in the, um, the feed dogs, as they're called. Which is the weirdest name. So I'm not sure this is usually if I actually focus on something, it drowns out with tinnitus and my thoughts can't bounce around to whatever I'm anxious about. I feel you there, my friend. See, I'll treat it like a dirty bird because of hate groups like autism speaks. Correct, correct. It's not a different train of thought. A different train of thought just means like a different direction of thought. Um, it's literally just a different way of being wired like being left-handed or right-handed. My dumbass food order is almost here. What did you order? What did you order? Not exactly similar. All right, let me take a look. I'm just curious, like I'm a side sleeper. So like, I don't know like how that would be comfortable to lay on, you know? Eye makeup protect. Oh my gosh, get the fuck out. This dude's facial expressions. Uh, well. See, I wouldn't, I don't think I'd like that. No, don't play the video. I don't know that I would like that because of the like, like it has like a pocket for your eyes. And I don't like, I like that it forces my eyes to stay shut. In darkness with the fan on low. Man, I fucking love sleeping with the fan on. I love that. And Dan used to be like, no, no fans. And I was like, deal with it. And now he is like, man, I'm sad that our house doesn't have ceiling fans. And at first he was like, we might need to install ceiling fans. And I was like, no, I love our light fixtures. Um, but I would love to find one of those like, 70s 80s like desk fans oscillating fans with like with the fat square plastic buttons in the metal cage and like usually had like those big blue fan blades inside if you know what i'm talking about you get it those things are excellent and i wish i could find one anywhere because i want one of those i will settle for a dresser fan that would be plenty just set it on the dresser and let it Blow the air around.
Ryan Chenette. Thank you so much for following. Welcome in. Feel free to say hey or introduce yourself or tell us how you found the stream. Thanks for that. Side sleepers, mm -hmm. even in a recliner or couch, floor, etc. Um, I haven't slept in a recliner in over a decade, but yeah, couch everywhere, side sleeper for sure. Tall Ausline a fan. Oh, that works. Oh, after you had COVID. You got some scarf mask things. Later turned out to not be COVID safe. Nope. They were great for doubling over your eyes and holding them shut. It's been a game changer. Hey, that works. Yeah, you need like an actual N95 mask. None of these gator bullshit. Oh, it makes me so annoyed. Um, hey, high score, can you drop the socials in? I just wanted to say, we've had several new friends tonight. Um, if you do use the social medias, I would super appreciate a follow. Um, I do post cool, interesting stuff on them, and I do post different things across different socials. And I don't just, like, bam an automatic link when I go live. In fact, I never post a link when I go live, so you don't have to worry about that. I just, I make fun videos and I post cool things. And if not, that's fine too. Oh, I'm going to need that lighter blue. <laughs> I'm going to do a second pass in that lighter blue color. Thank you. White noisemaker or speaker. Turn out traffic. Yes. Oh god, definitely drown out the children. The noise, I mean, don't drown children. That's bad. Yeah, like, I don't run. I don't run. But if you are in a crowded building and you want to find the fastest way out of that building, put me in that place and then cue the sounds of, like, screaming, crying babies and I will show you the fastest exit within 30 seconds. Huh? What is this link to? Uh, vegan, what is that link? I do appreciate context before links and like maybe asking before posting links would be great. Scrolling around, you look like you were doing something neat so I stepped in. Welcome, I'm glad you're here. I fan, ah, okay. Um, yeah, I am mending some denim shorts or darning actually. We're kind of reweaving the denim sort of i can show you the parts that have been finished so we've got this it probably just looks like normal pair of shorts because like hole what hole there's no hole here um so that's the inside so you can see that a repair has been done but it also doesn't look like it and that's what i'm after Yeah, one of those fans. Exactly. Ah, oh, 35 bucks. That's decent. But the shipping, yeah, the shipping is $40. So it's like an $80 fan. Wild. But thanks for that. Uh, so yeah, we were, we did the larger hole on the legs. So now we're working on some of the smaller ones. Yes, I do have noise canceling headphones and earbuds, and I do like them. Okay, let's get this. Right across there from the hospital, really? And your house is under the flight path. Oh man, that's gotta get annoying. Very loud. Uh huh. Unfortunately, at least the rent is cheap and you're five minutes to work. That is an advantage. Maybe you can get some noise-canceling headphones and that might help. 
But yeah, I bet your earplugs really come in handy for that. No, go this way. There we go. No, oh, I have to take that back out. Grr. Yeah, that would definitely get very loud. That's like living by a train tracks. It's just kind of potentially loud all the time. Okay, so we'll do a second pass with this color, and then we will go the other direction. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. That was nice. Back behind, what is the problem? Uh, what? Is the issue. Oh no, did I accidentally stitch the pocket? Ah, fuck. I think I have done the thing I was really hoping to not do. Yep. I did it. I stitched. I stitched the fucking pocket. At least it's only a couple stitches, but... <sighs> I'm gonna need that one command. Very fixable, at least. Thank you, high school. Eric F. Carrier earmuffs. Jeez, that's a lot. Let's try that again. I kind of wish I had secured the others. Oh well, live and learn. Eh, no, no, no. So yeah, new friends. So many new people tonight. Crazy. Um, I stream Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday evenings. Just to let you know. We have a lot of different things here. Um, I've been lately I've been playing games on Wednesdays. And game streams are about to get a whole lot cooler. If you know, you know, and if you don't, you'll find out soon enough. But Fridays and Sundays are generally some sort of craft-ish activity. We do other stuff too. Sometimes we leave the house and go in the car and go places. I would like to do some gardening streams. We'll see if I can make those work. Um, sometimes, sometimes I make food, but I try not to do that on stream. Just, it's always weird shit here. Oh, what is it doing? Ugh, not my favorite. Oh, well. It kind of doesn't do great when, like, you know, the seams in denim, how they're kind of thicker. Yeah, it does not like those. Oh, well, could be worse. I guess this is the lighter thread. Oh, because the stuff that was the really light color. 
that stuff. Um, I ran out of it, but I do have some other thread. Let's try that instead. I don't like this. This is too dark. Like, it's good, but I'm looking for something lighter right now. We can always come back to this. I don't know. People hanging out. What are you all doing? I should go to bed. And I will do that soon enough. I just kind of want to finish this one that I'm on. Playing video games. What games are you playing? Every time, every time we gotta take this out, put it back in. Okay, that's better. Okay, what game or what kind of game? Nano Cooney Cross Worlds game. What is that? I feel like I heard about that or saw that mentioned somewhere recently. But I have no idea what that is. What kind of game is it or anything? Yeah, this is much lighter. That's a lot nicer. What? That doesn't seem right. What the fuck? Huh? Somehow the thread is like twisted around the needle. What the fuck did I do? Oh dear. That's a problem. That's not how that's supposed to go. What the hell? I've, I don't think I've ever had that happen. Okay. Let's re-thread that. Wow. That was weird. Another fuck up. Good job, me. Okay, so now what the fuck happened? I have no idea. It doesn't even like look messed up on here really, so I don't know. A studio Ghibli artwork JRPG. What is JRPG? I know like role play game, but what is what is the J? Redeemed Sinner, hello. Welcome in. Where is your unholiness? Uh, there's another person in our community whose username is your unholiness. And I'm just like, I feel like you two need to meet up, you know? Japanese RPG. Oh, okay. Interesting. What do you do in that game?
like Shin Megami Tensei. I mean, sure, like this other game I've never heard of. Okay. Funny that you would assume I know about any of those. Welcome in, redeemed sinner. What are you up to? How'd you find us? I am redeem redeeming. I am repairing um a pair of shorts. I am kind of restitching denim, sort of. Just I just work it all like everyone else. I assume. Um, I guess so. I don't like work, work, or just browsing channels. Fair enough. Got this. Like the early Final Fantasy games. Maybe, maybe. What are you fixing? Um, so I'm mending, mending and darning a pair of denim shorts. I will show you in just a moment. Fixing jorts. In short form, yes. But I'm fixing them like the really nice way. Alright, so here's the part we've already done. <clears throat> so if you look at the leg of these shorts, you would be like, what is there to fix? Because these are already fixed. This is the repair. And this is what's on the other side of that repair. What? Chomzy, thank J -O -R -T you. JORT repair hype cosmic hype C. Thank you so much for the pities, friend. This is what's on the inside of that repair. So it kind of like reweaves the denim, sort of. Locking stuff. It's not very challenging at the moment. It's just been out two days. Nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. I wish I could see my bits goal. I have no idea how my goals are doing for the week. So I hope we're doing well. Also, there is a new... There is a new... Um, alert for 500 bits as of earlier tonight in case anyone cares or wants to see it that's what it is and what it costs <laughs> mm. okay how do i want to go about this that's going to be blue so these are going to be lighter and yeah okay so the center will continue to be these it looks pretty but i don't see myself playing it for very long yeah i can see that um syrup i will tell you that woody puzzle game i tried it out but i only played it for like a day or two and i was like nope i'll be honest i did not find it challenging so i didn't like so i didn't i didn't like it after that so I uninstalled it and got a refund. <laughs> oh god, what now? What now? You freaked out on me about something. What is the problem? With these sewing machines, they are kind of particular. Oh my gosh, who dat? Level Head Roger, hi. Hi, hello. Thank you so much for following. Welcome. Feel free to introduce yourself or say hi or tell us how you found your way here. Well, that's a bright green. I like that. Hello. Hi. Welcome in.
What are you up to? Let's try that one again. I am repairing some jorts. Sewing machines kind of do what they want sometimes. Yeah. Yup, yup, yup. Mm hmm. What the fuck? Why? Why is it so small? That's not how that's supposed to go. I don't get it. It's kind of basic. Yeah, I mean, I didn't think you would be offended. But I figured I'd let you know because we did, we did shit chat about that game a little bit. Been lurking for a while. Oh, really? You decided to explore my recommended on Twitch and you were the most interesting and nice channel that came up. <gasps> well, thank you. Something different is reading your panels. I'm surprised with all the projects. That list is really out of date, actually. It's really out of date. I don't even know what the most recent thing is on that list. I'd have to look. I have done several things since then i'm sure i also like to restore mid-century furniture and i crocheted my emotes not long ago just i just like to do stuff i've never done and thanks for taking the time to read that stuff i don't know that a lot of people do okay, let's try this on the test panel and see what the fuck is happening. I think it's just like, once again, denim seams are thick. And it doesn't like that. Yeah, that's the issue. What kind of games do you like to play? And what kind of channels do you normally like to watch? Try it again from the top. Of course, I like your hair. Thank you. Thank you so much. A little bit of everything from Dead by Daylight. What do you, is, I don't know what you do in Dead by Daylight. I've heard of it. I don't know anything about it, and I don't, I've never played it, clearly. Okay, let's try this again. It's, you know, it's this seam. It's too tall. I don't know of any way to make it smaller. I think if I go slow, it'll be all right. And I like have to kind of force it. That's lame. Yeah, that's what I gotta do. Asymmetrical game. What does that mean? Four players have to survive against another player who's a killer, pretty much. Repair some gems on a map to power the gates and escape the killer. Huh. Um, I understand like four, four fifths of that. Generators. Oh, 
okay, okay. So kind of like in Jurassic Park, but not. Got it. This is something. And now it's going to be too light, but I'll go back over it and that'll be okay. That actually looks all right. And let's snip it. Yep, I'm just sitting here repairing these, hanging out. Should have gone to bed two hours ago. Oh well. So now I think I should go back to, I go back to that blue. Okay, yes, I'm gonna go back to this blue and then I will finish with the, the in-between color. It's gonna be great. I don't know, did we show you what we're doing? Here, this is the repaired side. You can't even tell. Um, and then this is... This is the inside of the repair. Blech. Yeah. So that's what we're doing. Up too late. Jewel Rose, hello! Hello, hello. I talked about it, like, when it was around midnight. I was like, I don't know, I could, like, try and stick to my times my intended times and I could I could end and go to bed and then I didn't <laughs> kind of competitive game yeah I've seen that get kind of mad and behave kind of mean so it's nice having a chill and nice stream to balance the toxicity of that game happy to help yep gaming culture the like yeah gamer dude culture super fucking toxic no thanks Happy to help. Oh, I need to change that thread. That's right, that's right. Jewel Rose, what are you doing while you're up too late? Uh, my microphone's gonna die. Fuck. I'm gonna go grab the other one. Um, my goals are really close. I didn't realize that. I didn't know that. That's amazing. Thank you, everybody who helped with that. When I play online, I play without sound and connect your headphones to music. That's one option to help keep things chill, yeah. I, what, that is one thing I liked about Grand Theft Auto was that I could play my own music. I I liked that of it. That's just the only game that came to mind when you were talking about that. But yeah, I turn off sound on a lot of things because like I don't need the game's music. Like it's just like mental clutter. is visiting from out of town up late drinking terrible beer you know what that can be either tedious and annoying or that can be like one of those really really good nights so i hope for your sake that it is the latter mm 
and we just like have those really really good chat man i miss that i miss like having friends and seeing people in person even better if the people i'm seeing in person are friends No, you shit, don't do that. This thing is not liking the seams. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, come on, let's try it again. Nah, why? It like sticks right in the middle. What the fuck? Oh god, did I sew the fucking pocket again? Hope not. Fucking hope not. No, I didn't. So what is the problem? Don't understand. If it keeps up too much, I'm just going to give up and try again later. <laughs> anyway, would anyone like to chat about something or should we all just sit here in silence? Because I don't come here to talk to myself, that's for sure. Eh, sorry about that. Okay, go this way. Just do the fucking thing. You did it before, you can do it again. Gonna be another one where I have to go slow and force it through, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Why? What in the fuck? Is it that there's too much shit underneath it? I don't know. Okay, that, that's enough of that. What the hell? I don't, I don't understand. Maybe I need like stabilizer underneath or something. You had a fail. A bug in the bag of vegetables you made for dinner. You pulled the steamer back out of the microwave. Wait, what? You found a bug in the bag of vegetables you made for dinner. You just pulled the steam bag out of the microwave and added butter. You were mixing it all up and you're like, that doesn't look like a pea. Ugh. Well, more protein, I guess. It's already cooked. At least it's dead. 
honestly, I would just pick it out and eat the peas because you microwaved it, it's hot enough, it's fine. He tried to learn to use a sewing machine, but ended up with a tangled mess of thread. That sounds like a tension problem. Put your tension on four and leave it. Unless specifically instructed otherwise. That was one of the biggest lessons I had to learn. Yeah, maybe I need stabilizer because we've got ugh, a whole lot of thread on here. At least I can do the other half of this. I have stabilizer, I just don't want to get it. I can just um, cut out a piece. Cut out a piece, give it a shot. If, assuming I can get it into position. Sometimes that's half the battle. And then, okay, the stabilizer stayed in place somehow. I will try it one more time. Once more, but with feeling. Or something. It keeps fucking up in the same spot. No! Why? Ugh. It's just like repeating the same shit and then getting stuck in the same spot and I don't... This is terrible. Oh, here's that weird bug. It came right in front of me, so I just yeeted it onto the floor. Noodle yum. Hi, hello. Thank you so much for following. Is it sewing or wrestling? Right now, it's a little bit of both, to be quite honest. It wasn't always like this. It's having trouble with the thick seams. Um, You know, denim, the seams are always a bit thicker. Uh, sorry about that. And it does not like it at all. But we're almost done, I think. I hope. Welcome in. How'd you find us? That was painstaking. Jesus. I kind of blended them together at least. I don't know if the stabilizer helped, but maybe it did. Suggested small communities. Well, we are certainly a small community. Welcome. We do a lot of different things here, but this is the current project. I am mending some denim shorts or jorts and I am darning. I'm darning the denim, so I'm kind of like reweaving it. Oh, look, a spam.
RE2. Hello. Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Um, as always, feel free to say hey or introduce yourself or tell us how you found us. Some nights, like, some nights you go the whole stream and you get zero new followers and then other nights it's just constant. I don't even know. Look at that bot. Yep, I saw it. Who wants to be famous? I don't know that I care to. Personally. I want to be famous, but mom says I can't. I hate when that happens. I hope you're not serious. Uh, yeah, that's all right. That's all right. So I think if I do a vertical pass with that medium color, I think that should be all right. Mm, nope, nope, nope. Yeah. Come on, wind around. Thank you. Yep, so we'll do a vertical pass with this in between thread, and I think it should be good. Tomorrow, I hope I'll finally be able to actually plant the herbs that I need to plant. It's been so fucking rainy. More or less Mikey. <gasps> Hi, it's so nice to see you. What's going on, sir? Forgot to introduce myself, middle of the game. No worries. Since I'm a level-headed dude, I'm always angry. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Thank you for the use of those emotes. A lot of the global emotes, I don't fucking understand what they mean. But I have been told that kappa means sarcasm, so thanks for making that clear because, you know, it's like impossible to determine tone and intent from text, so I appreciate that. Mm. What are we sewing? I, what are you playing? I am repairing a pair of shorts, denim shorts. Um, I will show you. So, here is the leg of the shorts. This has been, this has been repaired. It's been repaired. And that's what it looks like. The, like, turquoise-ish color you see, that is pencil. That is marking pencil. Um, this is the inside of the repair. So... We're doing a darning method, so we're kind of, sort of, reweaving the denim. The goal is to make the repairs blend in as much as possible, so you can't really tell. Skater XL, Rocket Luke, and Cop. Oh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. I see, I see. Takes a while. What takes a while? Costa Rica, really? That's cool. I don't know that we have anyone in this community from Costa Rica. You might be the first. Brad's skills. You're too kind. You're too kind. This is the first time I've actually done this sort of repair. Never done it before, but um, it's pretty, it's a lot of fun. I'm really having a good time with it. And I'm really pleased with how it's looking overall. The thread matching is like, it can be a whole ordeal. Special, I guess. I mean, not everyone can live there, clearly. Sorry about like, no, never mind. I'm thinking of the wrong place. Never mind. I don't know what I'm saying. Disregard. 
sometimes I get Costa Rica and Puerto Rico mixed up in my mind. But no, they are different places. I do know what I'm talking about, I promise. Most of the time. Most of the time I know what I'm talking about. Sometimes I don't. This is not one of those times. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Let's get with it. Uh, we want that perpendicular. This is common confusion, yeah. Both names, they are, they're like, they're like perfectly opposite in sound, if that makes sense, like, because one ends in A, one is A-O and the other one is O-A. Yeah, I think that probably has a lot to do with it. Mikey, thanks for hanging out. It's lovely to have you here. There were several other uh, Nurse Huckleberry people hanging out earlier. I don't know with where, what, I don't know what they're doing now, but. Yeah, I think that should help blend them in. Just gotta keep that pocket fabric out of the way. Uh oh. Mm. Okay, okay, the bottom's probably done. I hope I wasn't stitching with air. I wasn't. Okay, good. This one might might not blend in quite so much. Uh oh. Oh well. <laughs> Knowing how to repair clothes or fabric is awesome. An important useful skill. Yeah. Yeah, I do like I like useful things. Um I did not l learn how to do these things because they were useful. I just happened to learn them. Another match? No worries, no worries. You, anyone can learn. It's not so difficult, I promise. Anyone can learn, even, even you. <laughs> Split ends are bullshit. Ari too, welcome. You need to learn how to sew. It would save me many pairs of work jeans. It's so easy. It's so easy. Like these darning stitches, my sewing machine literally does them itself. All I have to do is just like hold the fabric steady to make sure it like stays where I intend it to stay so it doesn't like get out of line. It's so easy. Maybe I should start. Maybe I should start like mail order repairs. Send me your work pants. I send you an invoice and I repair your pants on stream. That would be a weird thing to do, I think, but. But clearly there is a need. Clearly. Oh, right, the bobbin. Take this whole thing off in order to get this out. Okay, what am I using for bobbin? Because I don't want to use all of my blue thread. Hmm, I guess just white maybe? 
I don't know. I'm tired. Just wanted to finish this current one that I'm on. Yeah, okay. Gotta wind another bobbin. This whole actually I don't because I have white ones made up. Never mind, never mind. Oh man, I still have embroidery patches I need to do, but I want to finish the shorts first. So yeah. Okay. That goes here, and then we just re-thread the whole thing. Because if I had taken a second to think about it, I would not have needed to fucking undo that. I would not have needed to do that, but here we are. <clears throat> Excellent. Excellent. I'm really excited that we're so close on the weekly goals already. If anybody ever wants to like max those out, don't let me stop you. It just goes this way. Yes. So weird. No, yes, there. There it is. Okay. So we hold both of these together. And do the thing. And that pulls the bobbin through. It's easier to see when there's a different presser foot on here. Okay. We are working with vertical. Now let's try to make that happen. Oh, no, wrong way. This way. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. I used to sew. You used to. What did you sew and why did you stop? I've made a few things. What have you made? Do boots need to be sewn by hand? Uh, what kind of boots and what, what needs to be sewn on them? You took a sewing class as a teenager. That's excellent. It's such a practical skill. You can repair your own clothes and you can make your own shit. <clears throat> Highly useful. Did you only, was that the only sewing that you did because of the class or did you do some outside of that? This pa this particular one that I'm doing now, it is not not gonna be as invisible as the others by a long shot. You've never had your own machine. Um, you could a lot of times you can get like older sewing machines for really cheap. You have to like make sure there's nothing like glaringly wrong with them. 
but vintage sewing machines are fucking workhorses. And they will treat you well as long as you treat them well. Mana, mana nanya? Am I saying that right? Um, that seems like a very strange thing to ask, like outright first thing in a stream. Just putting that out there. Um, thanks for saying I'm beautiful, but yeah, that seems like a really strange thing to just ask without even saying hi to someone. Just notice your shirt. This one? I was saying, I was telling chat earlier, the only person I flipped off with this shirt was my sleep special. Because he's awesome. Yup, it's that cat. It is, it is. Uh, Mananya, um, I don't really care to answer your question, but if I am, so what? Valley Fifth, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome in. Welcome in. Feel free to say hey or introduce yourself or tell us how you found the stream. PJ pants, pillowcase, drawstring bag, messenger laptop bags. Oh shit, and a pin cushion. Okay, the messenger slash laptop bags. That's impressive, dude. That's impressive. And the PJ pants. I want to make a pair of shorts, like comfy shorts, and I want to make them out of potato fabric. I would say, here's the picture. Um, if you type exclamation mark socials, Brings up all my, ow, all my social medias, which I am active on, and I do post regularly, and I do post interesting stuff, I promise. I make, I also make amusing videos. Follow and all for best results, but, um, there's a picture of a hat that I made last summer. Um, not the completed hat, but there's pictures of the hat in progress, and you can see the potato fabric. And that's where the idea for the potato pants, or potato shorts, that's where it came from. They still fit. Oh, that's awesome. You made it almost 10 years later. That's great. Such a useful skill, see? Do you do product photography or photography in general? Camera in the background. Oh, the one over there? That's at my computer. Um, I, I do enjoy product photography and I have done some photography in the past. I have done some photography in the past. Um, so yes to both, but that's a really old DSLR that I use for my like face camera at my computer. It does not have autofocus, so it's blurry as all fuck. I think um, soon, soon one of my, soon-ish one of the next stream upgrades will be to get a Face camera for over there that can actually autofocus on my face because I think I mean I am moderately okay looking and I think I deserve to be in focus you know I did have this camera over there and then that one was over here but this is just like a webcam and it sucks in low light and when I play games and stuff I like to turn off lights um so I'm, I switched them back because the DSLR is far better in low light. Oh, usually, usually there's a cat sleeping up there. Potato fabric. Yes, you will have to go to the Instagram and find it. It's from last summer. It's a picture of me and I'm wearing a hat. You looked at the boots. The front of the boots has a piece of leather over the steel toe where the stitching has come undone. One of the soles is falling off. Okay, are they like Red Wing or another like work boot brand? Because there are shoe repair places that you can take your boots to and they will just like stitch over that and repair it. And I promise it will be very cheap. 
then a lot of times there's like leather repair shops and they repair like luggage and shoes and belts and things like that. Um, yeah, search for a local place and I guarantee it, it will get you, get your boots in ship shape and it will not cost very much. Sneakers, or not sneakers, sneakers isn't here, high score. Would you agree that I am worthwhile to follow on social medias? Maybe. I was thinking sneakers because of the red name they're up had. Danner boots. Okay. I'm not super familiar with that, but that doesn't mean anything. Look for a leather repair shop near you and they will sort you out. There's a, like, where I live, there's a place that sells, like, Birkenstocks. They're, like, an authorized Birkenstock dealer. And they also do shoe repair, but I realize that's not the norm. They're expensive. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, you can definitely get them repaired at a leather repair place. Or anywhere locally that sells them in person probably can also repair them. Because I know, like, the only boots like that that I know is, like, Red Wing. And... You can def I know you can definitely go to a Red Wing dealer and get your Red Wings repaired because they have like lifetime warranties and shit. Yes, good stories on Insta. High score um revived <laughs> he revived his Instagram account just just for that. I do have a good video making the rounds right now. A happy accident, if you will. Maybe my needle is getting dull or something. Maybe. I've never really encountered that that I know of, but... People insist that it makes a difference, and they're like, you should always start with a fresh machine sewing needle for every project. And I'm like, sewing needles are expensive. Yeah, I'm sure there's a local repair place near you, and it'll be worth it. I took my roller skates to the shoe place in my town that I'm thinking of, and I asked them to put these... They're like, I don't know what they're called, but they're straps that go around the back that help make your laces more snug. Um, and I was like, do you have a way to put these on? And he was like, oh yeah, totally. And I like got to go back in this back room and he had this really cool, oh, that bug is back. What the fuck is that? I don't like it and I want to smack it, but I don't know. I don't know what it is. I need, like, okay, I'm going to put it in a container. Hold up, hold up. If I can, I hope I can. Uh, it's on the pegboard, so if I try and get it, it's just going to go in the pegboard hole. That's not great. What the fuck is that? It has six legs and antenna, so it's like a true insect, but, like... Maybe I should try and get it on a piece of paper? <laughs> but if I do that, it's just gonna fall, I think. Go on the paper. It will not. It is refusing. Okay, I trapped it. And we have trapped it. Uh, how do I get this out of here? Hmm. 
No! Ah, shit, it got out. Shit, shit, shit. Come back here. No, you fucker. I got it, I got it, I got it. Success. I did it. Okay, what is this thing? This is gonna be like zero health. He's going nuts. Maybe, okay, I will poke a hole. I'm not a monster, I'll poke a hole. Take a photo with your phone. Good idea. I will do that and then I'll look on, I will look on iNaturalist. I'll poke a few air holes. Dude, get off the lid. I'm trying to poke holes. They're just pinholes, so I gotta poke a lot of them. I love those little sauce containers. That are like the little one, like these things. They're so useful. I have a bunch of them. Yeah. He is running circles in here. Why I assume it's a dude? I don't fucking know. I will have to wait for him to stop running around before I can get a picture though. I'm just poking a whole bunch of holes. Oh, he stopped. For a moment. It very well might be some type of lightning bug. I just, I don't know. It looks kind of like that, but also not like that. Hmm. Okay, I hope I have sufficient holes. Let me... And get the camera. Oh, now he's running again. I wish the lid of this was cleaner so I could just take a picture through the lid, but I can't. GD, hello. What's going on? I trapped an insect. And it's blurry because it's at an angle. Come on. Focus. Make it clear, please. That's the thing, like, it's through, the picture is through plastic, so it's, like, it's just blurry. There's one that's kind of clear, I don't know. And now he's running laps in circles again. <laughs> Sauce bowls are good for holding small screws and parts. That's exactly what I had in there before I dumped them out to catch this insect. Yep, that's exactly what was in there. And going through the top is a glare. Ugh. What am I? Sit still where I can take a picture of you. Uh, 
I think this container has like, it has like hard water outlines on it. I just don't know if that's gonna work. Mm. Kind of get them from further away, but then it's like, there's like a line Ugh, there's like a line in the middle because container shape. <laughs> it gotta rest sometime. Ugh, I don't know. Let me see if my pictures, I will crop them and then I will see if I can identify it. Sometimes um, iNaturalist has issues when they are not in like a natural habitat. But we'll see what we can do. Crop. Whoa. Nope, that's too small. There we go. Ugh. Nope, that one's blurry. That one's decent. I say decent, but I'm sure it won't be able to identify it. I know, right? I'm it depends on what the bugs are, but like, if I don't know what it is, then, you know, that makes me a little more uneasy. That one I want. So blurry. It's not gonna give me shit, I'm certain, but I will try. You once put a cup over a cricket, it was in your basement, it kept jumping and hitting the cup. I hope it didn't hurt itself before I set it outside. Who knows, man, who knows? Does anybody else have those like house centipede things and they're like super fucking fast and they have like a billion legs and it looks like they're just like floating, but they're so fast. Maybe that's why Fiona left. I don't know. She probably went to sleep downstairs. Sometimes she does that. Last night, she climbed up on her bed and was hanging out and it was so nice. But she doesn't usually do that because Basil has kind of taken that over. This allegedly it says subtribe Staterina. <gasps> oh, that kind of looks like it, but not. This looks a little bit more likely. But what is that? No, come back. Go to the library. I guess I closed that and I'm gonna do it again. It said, no, we can't make a suggestion. And then I accidentally closed it. And then when I opened it again, it was like, no, it's not silverfish. Those are different. Those are the littler ones with like the scissor tails. These are not those. Try it again. Okay, subtribe Staterina. But what does that mean? That looks kind of like it. Let's get more info. Oh, just, it just gives me an about. That's not. Staterina. Insect. Hmm. 
guess, yeah, genus. No. Genus Statyrina insect, I guess. Mm. It looks kind of like some of those, but also not. But given the genus, it could be, maybe. I just want like a quick explanation like these are these types of things you know it looks kind of like that some kind of tiny beetle some kind of beetle Although this picture is from somewhere in Arizona, so may or may not be the same thing. <clears throat> and this is another prime example of why Google search is useless sometimes. I can understand, like, it, it does have a harder time when he only knows the genus and not the actual species, but, like, still. Let me try searching a different browser. Load, please. Paste, go. Wiki species, hey, that's cool. Nope, that's not helpful. Not helpful. Okay. In some kind of beetle. Let's see if that helps. Tells me about beetles in general. That's not mm -mm, not what I'm after. Okay, I don't fucking know. I think that requires further looking else other times. Not surprised. And he's running laps again. There's a lot of air holes though. I hope that's enough. I don't really want to kill the poor thing. I'm always worried, like, our house, our house has a lot of wood. Um, it's like a mid-century time capsule house, so it has a lot of real wood. And, and I'm a very anxious person. I worry a lot about things that may or may not be worth worrying about, depending on your perspective. <clears throat> so I'm always worried about shit like, I don't know, termites. Of course, there was no... No sign of such things by the home inspector when we bought the place, but you know. You know, anxious minds gonna do anxious mind things. Yeah, okay. I'll put the pin down, set this over here. Okay, uh. Take this out. This one needs like a lighter thing there and there. I don't know. Oh, I need to do a diagonal. That's what this is missing. Oh, well, I'm not going to do that right now. I might not do it ever. I don't know. Ugh, that does not. Okay, this. This does not look as good as the other as the other repairs at all. 
not so pleased with that, but I can, I can revisit it at a different time. Get in sleep, I need to head to bed. Yeah, I should probably be doing that shortly as well. Let's, um, come with me. Let's go over here. Over here, hello, friend. It is, it is late. I was like, oh, maybe I should stick her, I should stay her. Maybe I should stop at, like, a little after midnight and, like, stay close to my ideal time frame or whatever and then I didn't I've been bad about that lately took one look in the eye said you're good you got yellow pie and I guess bugs don't like it that's weird yeah it was kind of a different color thread because that really ideal light blue that I had I ran out of it so I might have to take it to the idea store again and try and match it and find something similar Roger, no worries. It was very nice to meet you. Um, I stream Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday evenings from 8 p.m. Central Time. So keep those notifications on. And it's another great reason to follow on Instagram and those places because I post I post a heads up on stream days. Um, I don't generally post when I go live, but I post an hour or two ahead of time. I also post earlier in the day. Uh, the news. That's also funny that both goals are only three away. Let's see, let's see. <gasps> and YouTube, yeah, go for it. YouTube is a great choice. Good night. Mm -hmm. Let's see, let's see. What is happening here? Hmm. They are watching, they're watching some video. Let's I too would freak out. Like, what the oh, fuck? That's so many people. Can you? That's a whole auditorium of people. Can you believe this? Oh, I missed whatever they're talking about. Um. This is insane. And I hope that you played for them. So what is lit? Because you're like, oh right, and then you're like, oh wait. I guess. I don't know. All right, we are going to raid. We are going to raid Never Again Land. She is another lovely member of the Nice Lady Club, which is our stream team here. And yeah, I'll be back Sunday evening. There'll be socials in the meantime. Um, yeah, tonight has been quite lovely, if I say so. Unexpected and so lovely. Thanks for making a Friday night magical. Rest well. Um, all that good shit. Come for the raid at least. And wow, my eyes look like I have like eyeshadow on, but I do not. Um, Mikey, have a lovely night. Get some rest. It was very nice to have you with us tonight. Yeah, let's pop over there just in case she's like getting ready to end or something. Or super tired. Yeah, RE2, it was super nice to meet you. Uh, I hope we'll see you again soon. Alright, let's go ahead and go over there. <laughs> 